All right. Welcome to the Thursday edition of Strike. Uh, if you'd like to uh, jump in, the uh, link is at the bottom of the screen on the side chat, I believe. It should be working. I don't know if it is or not. I'll throw it out there again just in case. YouTube hates me. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. I think YouTube hates me. But other than that, that's what's going on. Uh, jump in if you want. Don't worry about it if you don't. I don't care. I don't mind. I'm not... Uh, you know, do whatever. All right. So, uh, got a little grandpa's out there. What's going on, buddy? Uh, if anybody wants to jump in again, there's the link out there. So, let's talk about anything other than politics, please. I don't care what topic you want to talk about, just anything other than politics. Uh, Ozark Ralphie, I'm already doing that. I'm hating it back. Yes, I can neither confirm nor deny that I'm munching on chips. And yes, Tennessee gun guy, I see you out there. How's it going? There's the link again for everyone. Go ahead and jump in if you want. Other than that, Netflutter, nice try. Nice try, Netflutter. I see what you did there. Trying to fix your son's 3D printer. Pulling your hair out. What's wrong with it? Because, you know, there can be multiple things wrong with it, Ozark Ralphie. I mean, you could it could be a bad controller. It could be a bad stepper motor. It could be a bad, uh, you know, this or that. Is the heated bed not working? Do you have a heated bed? That's, that's another thing. If you have a 3D printer, a heated bed is probably best. George Ghost, what type of shovel should I use for no reason at all? Um, type of shovel. A military spade type, I believe. I believe that's, uh, that's what I do. Uh-oh, Snake Doctor 78. I found three 50-round boxes for $14.99. I may shoot one this weekend. Oh, good, good, good luck, my friend. Good luck. A Midnight Rain says, the problem is it's only printing in 1D. Well, if it's only printing in 1D, there's a hell of a problem, I tell you. A hell of a problem. Thank you, Other Travis. So, there's a link out there for anybody who wants to jump in and hang out. But uh, George Ghost, definitely a spade. A military-style spade shovel. Those are the best. Warsaw Patriot is out there. Uh, no, it's not coffee tonight. It's, uh, Thursday edition strike. Nice try. Uh. Yeah, so. Ha! <laughs> 
You're in Cal. Mario, where you live, there, there's no need to be depressed because you knew what was going to happen in uh, in your neck of the woods. And we're not talking about uh, about uh, politics tonight. That's not on the agenda. Uh, that's strictly for forbidden. Forbidden. Uh, Tennessee Gun Guy says, "Was going to Tulsa for Wanamaka, then my brother, his wife, and daughter all got the Rona. Everyone's going to get it." It's just a matter of when. Uh oh, Warsaw Patriot is working on more pine wood. Watch out. But anyone who wants to jump in, go ahead. I don't have any topics tonight. Yep, Midnight Range, he's right. He's working on another Taiwan Derby car. Eventually, Warsaw Patriot will get his Eagle Scout. Eventually. <laughs> oh, I, I know. No, Mar, Mar, I've known Mario forever. Don't worry about it. Mario knows. I mean, I don't talk to him often, but again, I've known Mario for quite a long time. About just as long as I've known Scotsman and uh, Janice Gay. I mean, Alan B. Pro. Those distinguished individuals. Well, now Jan is distinguished because he's got a beard. Beard like I had last year. Damn, that thing was big. Just ask John Z. He was, he was huge. I think I posted a picture of it on, uh, on what you call it, uh, Instagram. Yeah. It's huge. What else is going on, guys? Ah, Mystic Guns is out there. Mystic, if you want to jump in, there's the link. Just in case. I mean, I'm not uh, being exclusionist tonight. I'm never exclusionist when, when it comes to you, Stacey. NY Outcast is out there. So. No, I'm also like DM Foss. Don't worry about it. I've been on the foreign and domestic podcast many times. The problem is, uh, I don't know what happened with Scotsman, but he stopped sending me links. I guess he was uh, afraid of what I might say. So. But Warsaw, isn't Russia in the opposite direction? Oh, wait, no. No, 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 no. It's got a west coast. It's got an east coast. All right, all right. Oh, NY Outcast is finally, finally being, uh, you know, he finally has culture. He's finally drinking after dinner coffee now. All right. Uh, are you butt hurt? How you? He doesn't give you a link anymore. Uh, am I? No. <laughs> 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 We're not talking about any politics tonight, so that'll be a tomorrow thing. That'll be a tomorrow thing. So you know, All anything, right, God. anything you want to talk about, other you know, Mario. Even if you want to talk about cheese, we'll talk about cheese tonight. Anything but Ooh, politics. Cheese. You know, I was thinking about some enchiladas tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know everybody's gonna start yeah. salivating in the side chat. Like, what the fuck, Mario? Nah, man. Nah, nah, man. I'm just, uh, I'm trying to stay positive because, you know, just got to stay positive, man. I'm trying to stay positive, too. That's why I don't want to talk about. Yeah, man. But, but, uh, what I really like is that it's starting to get cold again. I like the cold. (laughs) Yeah. I do. I definitely do, man. It's, uh, it's a good, um, 
it's definitely a good change for me because unfortunately where I live, it's either summer or winter. We don't have no fucking four seasons, bro. Mm. It's uh, it's pretty weird. But uh, you're exp- explaining this to me like I've never lived in California in my life or Arizona. Oh, that's yeah. right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I've, I've lived in Palm Springs and oh, I've God. lived in L.A. Yeah. Palm Springs is preppy as fuck, dude. I well, it, it, it wasn't Palm Springs proper. It was uh, Cathedral City. Oh, OK. No, you living, but you were living with the rib refs. <laughs> You know, on the outskirts, but uh, yeah. Hey, I, I lived in the nice area because the, they had the nice schools there. Yeah, you know, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, it, it, no, it wasn't. It wasn't bad in the early nineties before the assault weapons ban. Yeah, that, that's uh, about the time I was there. But you know, everybody, uh, you know, like my my kids are always asking me, like, um, so when did this? whole assault weapon ban started in California. I thought, well, it happened when the North Hollywood shootout. After the North Hollywood shootout, everything changed, man. Everything changed. Because uh, before, everything was legal. There was no there was no issues. You could buy whatever the hell you wanted to buy, have whatever type of magazines yeah. you wanted to have. It was great. Yeah. Those were the days. Yeah, and back in the days when California was red. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It, yeah, you're right, Mystic. It, it doesn't get cold here, but, you know, we're, we're little bitches when it goes to cold. If it gets over 50 degrees, they're like, it's cold! Because, <laughs> you know, we tropical peoples around here, man. We ain't fucking, we don't like the, that cold-ass weather like they got on the East Coast. As someone, as someone who's from from Mesa, Arizona, I want to call you a wuss. I gives a shit. Call me a wuss. I don't give a fuck. You know why? Because in the desert, it gets down to freezing. Oh, night. I know that. Oh, dude, trust me, man. I know, bro. I've been there. I uh, see. The thing about it is, I've been in, in really and, cold and, places. And the further out in the desert you go into California, same exact type of weather. No, I know that, but um. You know, like uh, being in uh, in Korea. Oh my God, that place is cold, bro. I, yeah, I was it, it, it probably feels a lot like uh, a lot like Canada. Uh, I don't know what it was about Korea, man, but Korea has these hills, right? Right. And and in between these hills, you get these big gusts of wind, and then all of a sudden, it just hits you, man. And and I mean, that cold just hurts your bones. It's I've never been so cold in my life. And the and the first thing that I thought about is like, can you imagine fighting in here in the Korean War? That must have sucked, man. Or like yeah. all those guys that, that, that fought in uh yeah. in, World War Two. Uh, World War Two? Yeah, man. Because they were they fought in in World in Korea in World War Two. They fought they fought everywhere in World War Two. Yeah, they did, man. They sure did. I mean, uh, compared to World War One. World War II really was almost a world war because, you know, the Japanese were trying to take over all of Asia. And, you know, while the Russians were doing their part by fighting off the, you know, you know the Japanese, you know, on, along, along the borders and whatnot, where, no, uh, where well, Mongolia yeah. was and uh, Russia yeah. was. But, well, you know. The, the, the Japanese made a huge mistake, and that is doubting us. Yeah. yeah you know, because we can't. We, you know, I, I guess the the biggest part that they doubted was our our navy. You know, they, they didn't think our navy could handle two two conflicts at once, yeah. and uh, it came bite them in the ass real hard. Yeah, the Germans said they backed them. They didn't back them very well, did they? No, um, no, and 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 then you know, to be honest with you, I, I talked about this in. Um, I think I talked about this in, in, in Locked and Loaded. Uh, no, not Locked and Loaded, but I mean... In, uh, foreign and Domestic. The foreign Domestic. And, yeah. um, and and I've always told the guys that, you know, I mean, uh, our military is it's uh, is very powerful, but I really think what makes it more powerful, what makes us have the edge is the Navy. The Navy, I mean, Navy is the largest Navy, the best Navy in the world. And because they can be anywhere around the world with, you know, with, uh, you know, Marine expedition units everywhere and they got all their ships and 
I mean, they're self-sufficient, man. Yeah. You know, so in that yeah, aspect, the, I think I think we have an edge on a lot of other countries. The only, the only thing I dislike, I dislike that we don't have any we don't have any ships larger than cruisers. I mean, I I, I get I get I, I, I get getting that. rid of the battleships because you're worried about bombers, but uh, you know, in the same sense, you should also be worried about bombers with uh, with aircraft carriers. That's why they have uh, you know anti air on aircraft carriers now. Yeah, no. I, I mean, I, I mean, you yeah, know, but um, we we shouldn't I mean, have I, got we shouldn't have gotten rid of the battle cruisers. We probably should have kept a couple, or got made some modern ones. Yeah, I'm, I'm not saying battleships because yeah, I know I, I understand the whole battleship idea is you know to put because uh, one missile or one uh, one well placed uh, aerial bomb and it's over. I get it. I get it. Uh-huh. But. Uh, you know, you know the battle cruisers. They, they they had less firepower than a battleship, but more but more firepower than a cruiser, a normal cruiser. So yeah, no, nah, but I still think we have an edge on that, and I think that's one of the reasons why a lot of countries would I mean, seriously deter yeah, from but, being stupid. You know, but if but he, but if you look at history. Remember Reagan. Uh, Reagan pulled. It was either Reagan or Bush pulled. I think it's Reagan pulled uh, all the. Uh, what was it? The uh, the battleships that we had as uh, as museum ships or whatnot. Yeah, they brought them out, 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 out of mothball and and put them back into service in the late eighties and used them to shell the coast of uh, of Iraq. Yeah. No, I, because I, I, because I remember what, what, I, I was in high school, but I remember I, I know you were in high school. So was Travis. But you know, but look at it, look at it objectively. They were basically using those gu- those ships as uh, as offshore artillery guns, more or less. Yeah, that's, that's very smart. And and quite honestly, I don't see I don't see why we don't. I know we're not in an arm a heavily armed conflict like like Desert Storm, but I don't see why the Navy just didn't they we didn't just upgrade those ships to to continue that kind of uh, that kind of. Uh, uh, of function because well, quite honestly, I think we still need it. Still I, I, need I, it think, I think I think a lot of it is about cost, man. I really do. Uh, I think it has to do with cost. It's, it, it's because they ran off of coal. That's why. I don't know what they ran out of, but you know, my thing is they were cold I, I, don't, I don't know if the conversion to nuclear would have been too great. I don't know. They, they'd have to do you know extreme retrofitting, and it would cost more than more to retrofit more, more than to build a new one than make a new one. Yeah. Yeah, but even but, even so, they they didn't they didn't make new ones. They didn't make anything. They just said, okay, we're just going to use cruisers these days. And I'm like, well, that yeah. you're, you're crippling our navy by doing that. Yeah, exactly. But you yeah. know, um, I mean, it, it just goes to say, I mean, like uh, the uh, the Marine Corps. I don't know if you I heard about this, but the Marine Corps just got rid of their tanks, and I think that's a huge mistake. That's a did, they get, did they get rid of their Abram tanks, or did yes, they, they get got rid of their Abram tanks. tanks? They only have two tank battalions, and they got rid of them all. I was like, I I was dumbfounded when they did that. And now they're talking about getting uh getting rid of uh getting rid of Camp Pendleton and uh, Paris Island, and just creating one place where they do everything. They do all the uh, basic training, and sh- I mean uh, boot camp. But I don't know where that place would be. I, I, I don't know that the, the Marine Corps is doing some real drastic changes. And um, I, I really hope that it works out for them because that's a that's Do you a think that's because the it's because of the drones, the drone use is increasing now. So we've got aerial reconnaissance 24 seven and we can drop stuff wherever we want instead of lobbing it. Yeah, but, you know, eventually you're going to face a, a force on force kind of, uh, uh, you know, yeah. kind of scenario. I mean. You still want to have those those oh, types of I don't agree at all. I think it's I think well, they're necessary even but still I'm just thinking I just wonder if it's because we just you know the air the aerial thing is, is some yeah. drones and stuff can basically they, show you everything from the sky. I, so I just, I, just I, I, th- I think they're just putting them into storage. They aren't using them right now, so they're putting them into storage. No, they, they have them in storage. They all put them in the army depots, ironically. <laughs> yeah, and the, we'll just start uh, having Amazon. Amazon will know, drop off C4 I, for us on I, top of I our know, opponents. You know? I know I know it sounds <laughs> wrong. You know, because the Marines are getting rid of their tanks, and that that sounds awful. But mm-hmm. you know, it'll probably they'll probably just shuff, shift them to the army, and the pro- army will probably use them. 
I know they're all mothballed. What they do is they take them back to General Dynamics and they, because uh, the thing about it is that the Abrams tanks has been uh, refurbished. Uh, this is we're, like their fourth we're, generation. We're up to like the, what the A three or the A four now. You know, yeah, but they they get refurbished every, <clears throat> I think every six or seven years, and they uh, they take them back to Lima, Ohio, where that's where they build them at, and they gut them all out. They put all new parts again. Uh, they rebuilt the engines and everything, and uh, it's uh it's amazing they, that they they pretty much been able to save so much money by doing that. So, yeah, and, that, and that's what they do. And they 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 place a lot of those, and they put place them in army depots, and they're just yeah, uh, you know, they they're just there, just like there's a bunch of Bradley fighting vehicles over there. There's still there's still a lot of lot of hardware everywhere. But you know, you know, and that's only because we're not we're not in any prolonged wars right now, other than just you know trying to get out of Afghanistan. Yeah, um, I mean, we've, we're, we're already out of we're, we're already out of Iraq. Yeah, ro- rolling trip. Uh, Fort Benning is the home of the Armor Center, um, and that's for the Army, so it has nothing to do with the Marine Corps, but. Uh, the Marine Corps did get rid of their tanks, and I was very sad because, uh, you know, there was a good rivalry there, and um, and we liked that. You know, it was good. Uh, and now that they they don't have them, it's kind of sad, you know. Uh, but nevertheless, well, the, the Marine Corps is still a very lethal force, and they're able to do what they got to do. It's just uh, the, they're only in mothball until another war comes along, and until another war them. comes along. But see, the problem is, I think their hardest challenge is going to be uh, trying to find people that were actually qualifying tanks. You know what I'm saying? Because if yeah. you get to a point where you don't have enough Marines that are tank qualified, it's like you got to start all over again, man. Yeah. You well, know? well, they'll have to figure that out. That's all. That's all there is. Yeah. The the army, what they did is when they when they actually got smaller with their tank forces, they they started putting them in striker units. Striker units is kind of like a personnel carrier with wheels. Uh, uh, so an so ABC? Th- yeah, no, yeah, it's a little more glorified though. It's a, uh, it's uh, it's a lot faster and uh, okay, a little more, a little more lethal. But uh, and hey. what they also did is that they converted. Okay, the it's an ABC with teeth on it. Uh, no, no, <laughs> but it's. No, actually, what they did is they they made strikers and they and they made them into tank versions, and they're like, uh, they use a one hundred five uh, cannon, like the one that they use the old original M one. So, um, so yeah, I mean, we've been able to retain a lot of our our tank forces because we know eventually one of these fucking days, one of these these countries is gonna get fucking they they're gonna get brave. They're they're gonna get brave and. They probably they probably have they're probably gonna you know all be outfitted with like T seventy twos or something and they're gonna decide hey we're gonna go and just take over this country with our tanks and piss everyone off. No, they're all they're all converting over to the T nineties, which is a it's a, it's a better it's a better platform, um, but they still use the outer loader on their fucking tanks, which sucks. Uh, so yeah, and they still and they still have a lot of flaws in their fucking tanks because. They still have their ammo around the turret ring, so if you hit the turret ring, they can still blow up and pop up like they did in Desert Storm. So um, that's the only problem with the with the uh, uh, with the Russian tanks. Um, that that that's a major flaw for them, and and they haven't been able to fix it. I don't know if if Russia is converting all over to the T nineties, then. I I'd, I'd say there'd be they'd be they're probably selling off the T seventy twos in in mass. Mm, yeah, the T seventy twos. I mean, there's still a lot of countries that are buying it because the T seventy two is still a, a formidable tank. Um, but a lot of them are getting conversion kits and up armor kits to the T nineties, and uh, putting new uh, new um, uh, firing systems on them, which makes it makes it a little bit more lethal. Um, the uh, I, I think the uh, the the biggest issue with them is that they they have a lot of flaws in their in their designs, and they can't sh- they're not that effective at shooting in the run like we are. Yeah, I mean, 
again, you know, we won't be using tanks unless there's a prolonged land war. You know, prolonged conflict on on a on land instead of uh, in air. We're still going to use air, but they'll have air too, so it'll be really hard to to try and combat them with just air forces. Yeah, no, I I get you, and um, I mean, yeah. I, I get I get why you're down about that, and you know, I I, I I I wholeheartedly agree with you. I believe we we always need people to be able to man this stuff, and if we don't, then you know, what's the point in having it in the first place? Yeah, yeah, but there's been a lot of changes within the within the military, so it's just a. I don't know. Sometimes a lot of changes are are a good thing, but yeah, just like just like how the what was it, the Obama administration wanted to get rid of the uh, the warthogs. Yeah, and uh, we can thank John McCain for saving that. Uh, I d- I don't want to give John McCain any credit because John McCain was a rhino. No, no, no. Um, you you need to watch that that part. Where he is fucking like the one, the one, the one good thing he did ever in his life. No, John McCain did a lot of good things, man. He 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 was not. I I think a lot of people want to give him shit. um, He was no Barry Barry Goldwater, I'll tell you that. Yeah, well, I mean, he's a politician, bro. I mean, towards the end, he's a politician. You know, Um, so was Goldwater. Also, he, you know, John McCain uh, uh, t- took over after him. So yeah, uh, to answer, uh, what is it, uh, Jumpy Killer? Uh, the the uh, it's not armor. It's um, they use a composite now. It's not um. It's like a composite clay that they use for their armor system, just like we use the same thing. Uh, Majority of, it, majority of it is not all steel. People have a tendency of thinking that, but it's not. Is the depleted uranium thing, was that just the rounds fired out of the Warthog, or was that the actual blend of the steel they put on the Abrams? Uh, I can't really go into that. <laughs> that's that's really... classified. You can't. Yeah, I, I can't. Well, I can't no, really I thought that was something everybody knew about. It was the, the I, and I don't, I don't, you have a military well, background. I have no idea. We're, so I don't, we're, we're, we're allowed, allowed to know they stuff. exist, but we're not allowed details. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, no. yeah, yeah. yeah um, I feel like going to live more things. Because oh, I always thought they said, oh, because of that, because of that material, there's, oh. there's an, I don't know, some expense oh. with them or something like that would keep well, them up. I, I think he's still under non disclosure until, you know, for the next couple of years. Ah, I gotcha. Yeah. Well, I'll just but, I'll uh, go to Wikipedia. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, just get off Wikipedia. But, um, <laughs> <go> Wikipedia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's uh it's amazing. That's all I could tell you. Oh um, yeah. I, I actually got fucking hospitalized because one time uh we had an issue and uh part of it was exposed and I got exposed to it. And uh yeah, I was like fucking six days and I feel like E.T. in that fucking enclosure, you know, like <laughs> the guys with the inflated you know, suits around you. Know? Yeah, I, I thought I thought you 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 just glowed when you they turned off the lights. No, man, I'm not from New Jersey, bro. <laughs> well, no, AWAG's from New Jersey, and he doesn't look like that. Uh, yeah, well, he's, he's from the suburbs. He, yeah. <laughs> he's from the suburbs. That's what. I love. Yeah, no, but uh, yeah, it's interesting, man. It's a. Uh, it's an interesting platform. I do miss the beast. I tell you that much. My knees and my back don't miss it, and my hearing. But yeah, yes, but now you can play time. World of Tanks on your computer, and you can relive those days. Yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? I, you know why I don't want to play those games because I don't want to get my ass kicked by a ten-year-old dude. Yeah, there you go. There you That's, go. They, uh, had, they had a pretty good M1 uh, simulator bro. on Microsoft Please, get, back in the day. You'll yeah. get Microsoft the, you'll has get, some pretty badass simulator games. They have see, that's, that's get, the reason you why you get your ass kicked by five year olds. Forget the ten. Yeah, years. that that's why I don't go into Call of Duty online, man. Because you know, I mean, you oh, that just gets it gets frustrating. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just you, you uh, listen four seven curse fest when you're playing it. Listen, yeah, if you then, do get into Call of Duty online, then let me know and I'll, I'll I have your back. Don't worry about it. Oh no, man. I, I, anyways, I can't play it. it. It'll mess up my PTSD. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and Black Bear Forge is out there. What's going on, buddy? Yeah. No, but yeah, it's, we, it's interesting. 
we switched from Call of Duty, my buddies and I did over to uh, Destiny Two because it's way less frustrating. It's more therapeutic. <laughs> um, yeah. Call of Duty just has you wired the whole damn time you're playing, and all you do is get upset that you get smoked the whole time. And there's so many guys yeah. running mods on it anymore. You go back and watch the replays when you get taken out. It's ridiculous how how, how many how fast them? these guys can kill people. Yeah. It's it's crazy. They're running yeah, mods. Right. Yeah, so I, we quit so, playing it. Yeah. No. It. it uh... It definitely, uh, it, it's interesting, but but I, I I gotta tell you some of the things that they're doing now it actually makes sense because um, on the striker they actually have and you're not I'm, I'm not bullshitting you there's an actual joystick that the gunner has and he's inside and, and he can control the gun from the inside with a joystick and I'm All like right. you guys gotta be shitting me right he goes no no seriously here it is I'm like what the fuck. It looks no. just like a fucking <laughs> Xbox fucking controller. Yeah, it's like a little controller with like a little uh, siding system and stuff. <laughs> it makes more sense. It actually makes a lot more sense. Well, see, but but at the same time, that. if that if that breaks, can they still use it manually? Yeah, they can. It okay. has another option. Okay, uh, because because uh, if you're gonna digitalize things, you gotta make sure you have a manual, no, you know, it, manual it, failover. It, no, and actually, it 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 has more than one. Um, more than one uh, option, which is kind of cool. I really like that. The the they actually thought about that pretty well, so it was pretty interesting. So, so uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna screen share something real quick because uh, I told Bob the other night that I would take a picture of it. I just figured I'd share. I've got the uh, the Springfield 1903 bayonet on the M1 Grand right there. Hey, where the fuck does it go? I guess I guess I uh, probably had to go to the hen's room. Oh, okay. So, so I put the I put the the, the long style bayonet on that gun. That's another you know, two or three feet to it. Oh. Dude, that's nice, man. You're ready for that's how you keep people away from you. That's your you know that's that, your zombie that, edition that, right there. That makes the M1 more like a spear or a pike, doesn't it? Well, when you're hog hunting, you're gonna need that, you know. Yeah. And, and for anyone asking next, like, why did you get not just get a small bayonet? Because Bob gave me that bayonet. That's why Dude. I got I put that bayonet on there. I mean, I want to see. You, I want to see you go out in the middle of a battlefield and throw it and yell freedom. <laughs> I don't, I'm not going to throw it. I will yell throw freedom. It, throw it out in the stand. Throw, throw it like a ba- throw it like a javelin. Freedom. No, <laughs> no I won't do that. He's, I'm not going to throw that rifle. He, he's going to be like that Viet Cong guy coming at the after fucking Colonel Moore and. Uh, uh, we were soldiers and shit. Remember that part? <laughs> no, I'm not going to be like that. <laughs> oh man, that's awful. You're awful. Hey, well, you can wear your blue dress, and uh, before the Br- British soldiers, soldiers, you can just you know lift it up and moon everybody and all that, and then throw it. Yeah, so at least yeah. it'd be colorful. No, I'll be fine. Thanks. Oh man, you're such a party. Pooper. I know. I know. I'm just. I'm awful. I'm telling you, man. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Yeah, man. man. You just have to live with it, right? Yeah, you just huh? have to live with it. So. Yeah, man. But it's uh It's uh You know, Tennessee um, Gun Guy says I really want an IHC M1. Well, you know, go through the CMP. You might be able to get one. Yeah, not right now, though. Good luck with not- that shit. Well, there's there, there's a there's like a six month delay right now. So, yeah. But they have those those, uh, those, uh, those grands that came from uh, from the Philippines. Those things so quick, man. I think I've got one. I hate you. I, I don't know if it's from the Philippines or not because I I don't see any markings other than just American markings. Yeah, one of my friends got two of them. I was like, wow, those things are nice. I mean, though I got a rack grade one, so there's some pitting on the, the 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 receiver and whatnot. But after shooting it on Saturday, you know what? Just because there's a little pitting on the receiver doesn't mean it's not still a shooter. Hey, I got a question for you guys, and maybe you guys have the answer. Maybe you guys are the side chat. But I was I was thinking about getting that C N E R whatever the heck was C N R Curious Relic. C-N- yes, but you know somebody I was watching one of the videos and it says wow. that. When you get an FFL license, that means that the 
ATF can come to your house and 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 look at what you have. Is that even true, or is that yes? Like some... They 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 can and they can and, sp- and they'll have to add. And if you get a CNR, you have to have a logbook of all the guns you have in a CNR, all the guns you've purchased, and if you've sold any of your CNR guns, which nope, you're allowed to that. sell them, you're allowed okay, to sell them to expand your collection, but not as like not like selling five or six of them at a time. You can't no, do that. I, I, I'm good. I, I don't I don't need the feds in my house. But the ATF can inspect. They, they, they. It's not oh. like they do, but they can. Yeah, they but just, but just having that, just having that, it's a, it's, it's a turn to me. I'm, I'm good. Yeah, uh, I'm good. one thing though is there's a huge catalog of guns you can order, not just like the few that you see over in ClassicFarms.com. Like if you, you know. You look at the catalog of what's available, and or if you go into what's really fascinating is go to Gun Broker and look up the CNR catalog and uh-huh. all the CNR guns that are available. It's like, holy crap, you don't realize what's actually on there. Plus, there's more that get added every year because as soon as they yeah. hit a certain age, don't some of the original M16s now fall into that area? Oh, are you serious? Wow, yeah, I think they, I, I don't know how that would work in terms of you know if they've had to been the Sears and stuff like that, but if you look them up, I think that they hit they've hit the, the original. AR, the original M16s would be coming up on 50 years. Uh-huh. 60, 70, 70, 80, yeah, 90, 90. Yeah, yeah, I think so. The, the problem is, you know, it's still, it, it still it gets into the territory of the, uh, the 86 machine gun ban. Uh, no, well, I, I don't know I, if it's, I, I don't know if they've been, if they have I mean, a different sear installed or if they've been, you know, put on a different lower or whatever, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I I like like old school classic bolt action rifles and you know the classic yeah. pistols. That's that's like my stuff, man. You know, the, 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 the only the only the only bolt action rifles I really like are like the Swiss uh, K11 or the K31. Yeah, that one's the, very the, nice because yeah. those because I I don't, I don't care who you are, the straight pull on those rifles is just so smooth. It's like butter. Yeah, but well, they were uh, well, very well made. Yeah, yeah, they were. They were. But the the only other type of you know bolt actions I like other than that are you know like you know everyone's favorite surplus Mosin, I like that. Yeah, then, I have like three of those, and I love them. And I, to me, it's like I can't get enough of them, man. And then I like the nineteen oh three just because it's American, but I really like the uh, the predecessor to the nineteen oh three, the crack. Oh okay. I mean, it's just I, I like weird stuff, and the crack just you know you know just. <sighs> It, the crack that, literally shouts weird stuff. Yeah, as long as I can, um, as long as I can reload it, I'm good. Uh, uh, you know, it's something I, I would be so, interested in purchasing. Tennessee Gun Guy says I've had a CNR for for five years and I've yet to have an issue with the Alphabet Boys. True, but yeah. they can't. And, and and Robert is saying for CNR they have they 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 can they can come to see you, but only to look at your logbook. Oh, so they technically can't look inside of your safe if you don't want to look. Oh, they don't have to. They have, so, they have to get a warrant to look. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, okay. I still don't like you guys check the internal that. chat. I put the link for the, the gun broker CNR page. Uh-huh. And they got 100, 120, 120 pages. Wow. Yeah, 120 really? pages of CNR guns available. There's no, a lot no, of 1911s that are on there now. Yeah. No, you what? You know what I um, want is I want a grand power, bro. I've always wanted one of those. Uh, do they fall into that or no? Not yet. I think if they're at least fifty years old, they yeah they hit that category. I'm just I'm just checking out. You can narrow it down to buy it now and then filter it by price low. But there's yeah there's a lot of guns that are popping up on here that are you got a lot of Mausers. You got you got everything, man. I mean, just check it out. There's tons. Hey, um, I'm nice work they got. Did you say you wanted a? Did you say you wanted a break action revolver or something? Who, yeah. who said that? Who is it that wanted one? Uh, it wasn't me. Yeah, yeah, Tennessee gun guy. That's the problem. Crags have gotten expensive, and the problem is, you know, the uh, the sporarized ones where the barrel's been chopped, and so is the stock. You know, which should only be worth about two hundred dollars, three hundred dollars maximum. Uh, they're going for like seven hundred, eight hundred dollars right now, and I'm like, mm-hmm. for a sporarized rifle, no, absolutely not. Yeah, I hear you. So, what happens if they have a warrant, and it actually it's a warranty from a dishwasher machine? Well, then that's a, that's a whole other problem. There, you've got issues then. Yeah, then you I got. I think that means are going to clean the so. guns. That's what I'm saying. They always do that in Miami Vice. Yeah, see, that's what happens. Dude, come on, man, it's a cartel, bro. 
<laughs> he said, they do that shit in Miami. That's the alphabet cartel. It's in Miami, bro. Come on. <laughs> hey, uh, Guns, did you get that box yet from me? I have not. Okay, I, it'll I be coming. Sure I think you... The, you should have it soon because I did. I think I mailed it like the day after I did the drawing. Oh wow, awesome! Yeah, I would imagine it probably be here tomorrow then. Let's say because normally hey. I get stuff from G Webs in like two days. So. Okay, Travis. Well, right now there's kind of a rush on UPS because they're but they. I think they told me Saturday is what they were looking at. Maybe so you should have it by Saturday. Yo, what's up, bro? Whoa, two get, days. Did you get my package? Uh, nice. <laughs> I don't, um, did, did you send me some more some more gun tube stickers? Or no, I got the I got the patch from you. Okay, you got the patch. Okay, good. yeah, I got the patch. Uh huh. Yep. Yeah. Appa- oh, appa- yeah. Apparently, I got a text message from John, and apparently, well, he got the he got the package, but it was ripped in half. Oh God, <laughs> Jesus! So, what, 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 what was this? Some gun tube or what? What was it? No, it was just it was the it was the patch. Apparently, apparently, the post office literally tore the package in half and lost the patch. Oh my Did god! Got like half an envelope. They were just setting the COVID free. Oh my god! Went to my order. Once I'm out at some parts, you know, some springs and stuff like from a bulk hair group and so that. And it was like from a company called Sons of Liberty Gunworks. Oh, yeah. It took a while to get it. But then, like, I set the package and it's like if it was retaped. And I was like, what the hell is this? You know, like somebody actually taped the, taped the, like they, they did a shitty job on painting, uh, tape, taping up the package, right? And I opened it up and so that, and my brother was saying, I never know, man. People, sometimes they see anything to deal with gun parts or whatever and stuff. Sometimes they'll open up the packages and stuff and look what's in there and stuff. And then they'll just tape it right back out and ship it off to you, you know? And I was like, okay, nothing was missing. I had everything on there, but the thing well, was... This, it's, 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 it's just, this just looks like it was vandalism. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably because you know, it goes through those sorters and stuff like that. Who knows? Yeah. True. Yeah. Maybe just, uh, you know, like uh, depending on how thick the the envelope is and stuff like that. And if it's going to the sorters and stuff, it probably got torn and stuff. Or, you know, you know, some guy like Jim Carrey and, you know, the, <laughs> where he, oh, was yeah. the he was playing the, the delivery guy and stuff. It was some guy doing that, you know, <laughs> bing, bing. <laughs> he got a package uh, yeah. and it sounds, it sounds delicate. <laughs> it yeah, sounds, sounds broken. broken. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People, yeah, uh, apparently Mad movie Sexy movie. says people are, are stealing ammo out of ammo shipments. Oh, you know oh, what? Wow. I mean? oh, wow. Videos of those like that where this guy, I forgot <laughs> which YouTuber it was. He ordered 1,200 rounds, and he only got like 900 rounds, and he was having a shit fit, and he put a video on, and I was like, wow, that's some fucking shady shit, man. All right. Yeah, they, stole, they stole 120 rounds from him. Wow. wow. Well, they're, uh, now you said 1,200. 12, 12, no, that's that's uh, 400 rounds from Three, 300 rounds. Hot to leave, man. That's crazy. I'm not good at math, okay? I've, I've, I've always, I've always told, mentioned this. I'm not great at math. That's okay. We have calculators. That's why. That's why we don't have to worry about Texas memorizing bro, everything. Work wonders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're going old school, baby. Calculator, right, Travis? Oh, mm-hmm. hey, remember when? Right on, brother. Texas. Remember when you had a Texas instrument calculator? You were bougie, bro. Yeah. You're like, oh yeah, I'm the shit. Yeah, I, I did. I had the stupid <laughs> Casio one that was half the price of the TI. It did the yeah, same thing, yeah. but like. The way you programmed it was totally, this was like mid nineties. It was totally different than the TI. So like the math teachers would always get pissed off because there's like three of us that had these and we had to like get out our manuals and figure out how to do what they were doing because, you know, like, well, this button, this button, and, this button. And, yeah. and well, it's like, oh, what's the equivalent? No, it's on this one. It's that, that, and that. Cause the buttons, the, the special features well, didn't match up with the TI calculator pad. So in high school in the late nineties, you were required. You had to have a TI-83. You couldn't have an off-brand. You had to yeah. have a TI-83 for, yeah. for the classes. Yeah. Well, yeah. for 95, 96, when I graduated high school in 95, you, you didn't have to. You could use it. I used mine for the – I don't know if I used mine for the ACT or not. I, I think we did, but I don't – hell, I don't know. But, Remember, uh, yeah, I, look, I, I, don't, I ever, started, don't ever get your kid every, anything other than a TI if they need it for math class. So, yeah. yeah. I started a little later than you, so, you know. 
What's crazy is the price on those things hasn't really changed. They're all basically no, still $89. Still expensive They've expensive been the same price that. for the last 30 years. They're really you know? expensive. Well, they're very basic, so it's not like it, not, yeah. it's not like it changes. Oh well, you can. I mean, you can get some fancy ones I now mean, that have you know color screens on them and freaking Wi-Fi and stuff. Hey, I, mean, I, I was yeah. just, I was just happy that I that that I had I had learned basic programming in uh, in, in uh, middle school slash junior high, and I was able to program games and shit all those calculators. Oh God, yeah, I remember they had Tetris on them and stuff you could play. I mean, yeah, I mm-hmm. can, I can program, I can program games, modify programs. Do all that kind of crap on those calculators, and oh man, that was fun. Because wow. I could just I could just play video games all day, and you know, without the teacher knowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, and, then, uh, and then the test came. You know, you, 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 even if you get on the test, you you, you bomb. Do you test. guys remember those Casio watches that had the calculator on it? Who the fuck? Had oh those? god, dude, I had one forever. <laughs> yeah, the, the, I had the data, the data bank, dude, the ones that put the phone numbers in it and stuff. Oh yeah, oh, oh my I god, had the data bank. I had a data bank yeah. of like one hundred. Actually, I've still got. I have to show you what I guys got. What I got here. Okay, this is. Hey, you, you guys talk watches. I'm gonna. I'm gonna grab it real quick out of my, uh, my yeah, watch. Man. I had that shit. I cheated oh, my ass oh, out of memories. every fucking test, bro. Here it is. So let me turn some lights on in here, and I'll show you guys what I got. I don't know if you guys ever saw one of these before, they're actually worth quite a bit, and I haven't brought myself to sell it yet. So, all right, let me get my camera on here. I should put a do a video on this. So this is a databank two hundred. It's got a touch screen on it. Oh, this is from like I got this back in ninety six or ninety seven. I changed the battery on it every couple of years. Like you actually mm-hmm. touch you touch the I don't know if the light will to get the light to come on on it. Yeah, it has like the little glow on it still. It glows blue. But yeah, you touch the screen, and that's how you bring up all the stuff. Like it has a little keypad and stuff that pops up on the screen when you when you put the numbers in it. <laughs> the, the different. Here. I think it's freaking awesome. Let's get the glare off me here, dude. Uh, that's awesome. No, don't sell the data bank one hundred. No, I'm gonna keep it. I can. I still wear it once in a while, man. This thing is just like vintage, sweet. It still keeps time. I think the calendar is gonna run out in 2025 because i think that's as high as it goes <laughs> yeah so eventually the calendar i'm gonna have to like find a year that's the same year that i'm currently in and uh make it work so yeah it has and it has four different categories it has like it has work it has a martini glass where you put your your uh like your your uh, your casual numbers in it or whatever it's got a, a work suitcase where you put your work phone numbers in it like it has different categories and stuff it's got the stopwatch and it's got the timer and it's got all that stuff. Yeah. Well, these things are awesome. Look up the look up the Casio cool. touchscreen oh, memory protect two hundred. So, That's yeah, crazy. I had my original high school data bank, but it was so old that the the where the pins go in the back they had basically rotted and it just fell apart. Oh. oh yeah. And they still they still make them exactly like they did back then. It has light and it's got the look. It has a built in keyboard, but they're um like touch sensitive they're not they're not the rubber buttons or whatever they back in the early 90s they had them with like the little hard plastic buttons you could push they weren't like separate keys it was yeah. like a single one piece molded keyboard yeah yeah but yeah even well, the basic calculator watches were awesome well, travis i i got Yo. uh i got bad news for you oh. um I, yeah. dude 2020 can it possibly get any worse than it already is <laughs> yeah go ahead man well, well, well they, seriously was not, the media gonna just end all of it now it, or what yeah. <laughs> It's not happening this year, but the next Damn Y2K, it. Okay, so, there's going to be yeah. another Y2K in 2038. Uh, 38. Am I still going to be alive? I got to think. 18 years. Damn it. I'm going to be retiring. Really? God. Dude. Why is that? Why are we going to have a problem in 2038? Are the algorithms going to run out on calendar- calendars nation- worldwide or what? Get Library. Garrett says that knife strike. Why is the world burning? You're supposed to be in charge of these things. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Garrett. I can't. I can only do so much. I can only do so much. Okay. And my who, my who powers are charge? waiting. Who made you? In yeah. Who put me in charge? That's Why right. wasn't I informed? Seriously, bro. Do we've been that. calling you our Lord and Savior for years now, and you act surprised because of this? You are I, not I, Judge Benitez. <laughs> <laughs> no doubt, man. No, that's Saint Benitez to you. Oh, that's right. He's been yeah, saying- Travis, that was a pretty cool watch, man. I always wanted to get the watch, that radio watch, the one that they used the Night Rider. 
you know, the, the, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the David Hasselhoff would wear it. So I always wanted to get one so I can say, get me up at front, you know, oh, you know, I know. People, have people look at me and like, wow, he's got, he has Knight Rider with him. You know, <laughs> you guys have the ones that had the little robot that would pop off of it and it would like the Takara watches they had a little, little watch, like it would turn into a transformer. It turned into a robot, then it'd fall back into a little square and snap on the wristband. Oh, <laughs> that no. was that was a watch fiend. Look at look up like vintage wow. robot watches, and they'll pop up, and you can you'll see what I'm talking about. Wow! Well, speaking cool. of robot stuff, um, the coolest thing I got to do when I was like six years old, uh, we went to Universal Studios Hollywood, and they actually had the Knight Rider kit car, and you can actually Ooh. go in there and talk Ooh. to kids. That was oh, wow. so awesome, oh damn. Bro. Yeah, that was an awesome yeah. experience, man. And then um, the the other thing that they the other thing that they have now they actually have wow a robot the, the whole transformers Ouch. thing they have actual mm-hmm. transformer robots and you can talk to them so you can talk to uh, uh <laughs> Prime um, and stuff Optimus no yeah, not Prime look on the uh, look on the YouTube chat Megatron mm-hmm. and um and uh, is blaming me Star for being Screen. Chinese and DM Fox. But- is saying I don't care about the plight of the peasant, and, and Gun Library Gear is saying that uh, I I take credit until 2020 happens, and suddenly he pretends he doesn't know what's going on. Wow! All at once, the trifecta. Ouch! Man. I felt that. Oh. Feel the love, bro. <laughs> you mean the absence of love? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Man, that's love. That's tough love right there. I hadn't realized I was on foreign and domestic. <laughs> yeah, we usually, we usually mess with you there, bro. <laughs> it was bad. All right, guys. Here's your here's your robot watches. These are what they look like back in the eighties. Oh yeah. These are, I had this one. I had one that was a robot watch that had an AM radio built into it. I think I tried everything humanly possible to not have to do like schoolwork. <laughs> so I find all these like all these distractions and stuff. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, and I used to flip his head around. You could pop him off and flip the head back around if you wanted to. It's Kara made these, which they made a lot of like uh, Transformers and stuff like that. These weren't Transformer oh, brand God, watches. This. Yeah, you I can still buy them. There's, there's, oh, there's remakes of them and stuff. And yeah, yeah, a little robot watch. You could pop it I off. He had, had a toy one, with like, you 24 like, 7. Yeah. 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 Here's dude, the package for like, it right here. Look that this is what they look like. Got there. That red one right there in the middle. Here, hang on a second. I'll go back. Yeah, this guy right here. No, no, the yeah. red one, bud. Red? Oh, that one is red. The yeah. one on the right there? Oh, uh, no, it looks orange to me. Oh, but... and you get your eyes checked out, bro. Here you go. This one right here? Uh, there you go. Either. Well, they might have come in different colors, yeah, too. Yeah, they I mean, come in different yeah. colors. Oh, my God. Uh, I think the Takara ones the actually said... Oh, wait. Depends on you know Ooh. if they're in an, if in a box if they're in the box unopened it's crazy what people pay for these things. Oh my but you God. can get knockoffs for fifteen dollars on eBay. But yeah, if you got one of the original ones and unopened in a package, like this guy right here, mm-hmm. something like that's going to be a collectible oh. because it's it hasn't been opened yet. They they were silver, gold, red. So Travis these are freaking is looking awesome. for an auto five, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah. You're looking at the. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm kicking myself because Defense Dad and I were at a. Uh, this is 1958. That's over on Gunbroker. It has no uh, no bids on it yet. It's functional. I might just have to. Might just have to bid on this one. I've wanted an Auto Five for a long time, and I've come to the conclusion I'd rather buy a used one because you can get the parts for these. Like you know, it's no issues at all. But a new one is $500. like thirteen hundred dollars. What's that? Five hundred dollars for a watch, man. We used to get those like. Well, it's dude. Case. No, any these toys have shot up in value. I've sold so many of my Transformers and made so much money off of them. It's crazy, man. Really? It's it, yeah, yeah. And I, yeah. I love, I love the design of the Auto Five. It's just I, freaking classic, man. These things are just awesome. Look at that. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking at a 1959, and it's, uh, it's 600 bucks. Yeah, I would. We when when Defense Dad and I were at a gun show a couple of weeks ago, they had one for 650, and I'm, I'm kicking myself for not buying it because it was, it was beautiful. It was. Had engraving in it and stuff, and it was in really it was um, Belgian made. I don't know what year it went back to. It was old. It was really really old, but it had the engraving in it and stuff. And they wanted six fifty, and I probably should just offered them six bills for it because the new one, I think a new Auto Five is like twelve hundred dollars, if I'm not mistaken. If you want it with wood, I think they're eleven or twelve hundred bucks. And if you want composite, they make one with black stocks. I think they're nine ninety nine or eleven hundred. But uh, yeah, they have the lightweights around here for about seven hundred. 
Uh, okay, yeah, this is this is the light. This is the Auto Five yeah. A Five light. Okay, so yeah. what what is I mean? What is the difference between this and then a non-light? It, I don't know much about was, the history. It was of the more light. lightweight. That's it. Yeah, it was designed to be, which also meant, by the way, if you were to zoom in close enough on that, where the fore end meets the rear receiver, I would almost guarantee you there's some cracks on that because the yeah, we were talking about cheaper. this when I, when when we were leaving it. Well, this one they yeah. do they do close ups on the handguard and it's not cracked. Surprisingly, oh, that's good. But, now, is that if you get that replaced, would you have to refinish the stock so they match? I mean, is that? Yeah, I mean, no. You'd have to, <laughs> no, you you don't have to. But uh, ultimately, would you want to? Yeah. <laughs> well, okay, now hold on a second, because there is. Let me see here if they zoom in on it. Where's they were showing a, a mark on it here? I don't know if it was a crack or not. Okay. Well, normally not on the butt stock. Normally on that front handguard. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a zoom in yeah. on on one of the little things and i oh this looks pretty solid all the way around yeah it really does that's a gorgeous so, shotgun, man. 19 the 1958 what do you think something like this should go for like what do you what are we talking here well i mean well, assuming it's a good price to you know bid in up the on actual thing. condition we see it in now and operative and all those things so what we're looking at is a a very very excellent condition that shotgun i would see on a normal year in my area, going for eight hundred, nine hundred dollars a nineteen okay. fifty eight. Uh, what are they asking for it there? Uh, this is just starting. It's nine days with no reserve. It might be worth taking a chance on, though. I yeah. mean, it's got some nicks and marks on it, but I, I want a shooter. I don't want a collectible. I want something I can freaking take out and actually use. You know. Okay, oh, so there. here's this yeah. is what I thought was a was a crack right right there. Yeah, maybe. Well, yeah, that's just no, a that's, that, crack. That, that's definitely a crack. Yeah, I mean that's because uh, it looks like it was fixed using uh, using some glue. form of acrylic. Well, they probably what they do a good gunsmith will drill in, and then he'll put in a a plug, and then back glue into that plug. So you'll put in glue, okay. and then you'll put in the plug, and slowly insert it, and it forces the uh, glue up to the crack. And what? so whatever the material of the stock is, you'll use that plug. Yeah. Is it in the top? Is it in the, it's in the top of the stock? Isn't yeah, it? isn't it that where the top where the tang comes back? Okay, that's what. I, okay, now does that mean it's it's not going to be usable or what? I, I, if that was a good repair, I'd want to look at it first. I mean, yeah, in that case, I, 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 I'd, I'd like it. I'd like an auto five from uh, FN or uh, or Browning, but the problem is I know I can't afford it, so I'll probably look for a Remington Model Eleven instead. Well, no, that's what well, I was saying. If you go five or six hundred on a vintage one at a gun show, you'd be surprised. Um, they do kind of float around there. Tra yeah. Travis, okay, the, so... the, the joke is the Remington Model Eleven is from the yeah. same era. But I know. It was, I know. It was. It was the. Uh, it was the Remington model. Of the same it, gun. Yes. Yeah. 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 My grandpa had one in twenty gauge. That's why I want an Auto Five. He had an Auto Five and a twenty gauge Remington, and both of them sold when they when they sold their house, and I was. Really young. I wasn't a gun person. I mean, I you know I could have bought the gun anyway. But um, now it says there's a hairline crack on the left side of the stock, extending back from the upper tank, like we said before. Yeah, and so it, like that, I said, if it was repaired professionally, I'd send them an email and ask them specifically how it was repaired. Okay. I mean, yeah, I've I got want a shooter. I don't want a wall hanger. I want something I can actually yeah. take out and use. You know. But I don't I've want to got two hundred dollars in the stock either. What's that? No. Yeah, I've got great war shotguns that were properly repaired that will still run to this day. And one of them's an A5. So are these pretty easy to take apart and clean or are they are they kind of beastly? No, nah, they're nasty. fine. No. It's, okay. it's pretty easy. It's okay. once you get it down, it's no more it's actually kind of less fidgety than a 590 in some ways. Okay. Well, thirty dollars in shipping—that's not bad. And it's in New York. I could free it. I could get it out of New York. <laughs> <laughs> You're Set a the good auto man. Five free, so. hey, I'm going to sign in on this, and I'm going to—I'm uh, not sharing my screen anymore. I'm going to sign in. And I'm going to watch it and see where you, it goes. I'm going to call them real quick and see if they know anything about that repair. You're yeah, I would ask but, them specifically to describe the repair. How much would a, how much would a uh, like a vintage stock cost? Do you have any idea what it would cost me if I bought one? I mean, Check or is numbers. that just not even? Would I be better off just buying a new set of furniture and putting it on there? Uh, so it, I would not know off the top of my head. So when I buy things like that, I'm keeping them in original condition. But you know, he's exactly right. Numerous gun parts will probably have them. Let's look. No reserve on this one. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it. Yeah, I'm going to contact I mean, the seller real quick. 
I mean, that's where I'd go first to look, and then I'd check uh, Apex Gun Parts or Liberty Tree Collectors. Yeah, Liberty Tree. But, but, but Liberty Tree and Apex are primarily uh, a mil uh, mil uh, military yeah. surplus, you know, old rifles. But again, from no, for, for for parts specific, Numerix first, then maybe check Brownells. So Numerix has the complete part set. Let's see. Uh, that's crazy. They no longer accept orders over the phone. Uh, oh, four inches in stock. Yeah, yeah, they've got a bunch of them, man. So seventy. It's because they're bucks. in New York. Yeah, seventy-six bucks for a brand new four end, and for a stock, you're looking. Oh Christ! Um, the cheapest one is a hundred and seven. Now it's not a period correct one. A yeah. uh, period correct one's going to run you three hundred twelve. So what about something aftermarket? Is there anybody out there that makes? I can look on look on eBay and see. If yeah, I check more. eBay. I want something that's just I can take the original furniture off and just have something I can actually just use. Oh, you know, Etsy. There might be somebody in Etsy that, that maybe makes new ones that makes carved stocks. You can get gun stocks on Etsy like crazy. Oh, really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Oh, that's god, yeah. yeah. There's a guy yeah. on there that does, there's a guy on there that makes stocks for uh, SKSs. He'll make you a uh, like a Monte Carlo style stock. He'll make one for the Sporter that takes the AK mags. They make a Dragonov style stock. They're all hand carved. Hey. There's one shop that makes oh, them. Hey, Monte Carlos, yeah. every Mexican will buy that shit. That's oh, good. exactly, man. Right on. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Monte Carlo style stock. You know, it's got the little cheek riser on it. And stuff. Oh, okay, my bad. Shit. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not. No, it's not. It's not the. It's not the sweet car. No, hey. no. It, yeah, <laughs> but they, the there's a the shop one there, and they're like like 110 bucks, 115. They're about the same price as like a Boyd's or whatever. They're not super expensive. It's about a two month wait, but yeah. Make it look at Midwest Gunworks. They have the composite Auto Five composite stock sets for one forty nine right now. Oh, so that's not so bad. I can at least throw it on there and use it as a you know. Oh yeah. Use it as a as a shooter and then put the original furniture back on if I want to display it or something or hang it up or whatever. Oh yeah. Medic is a plethora of information. Well, I'm a plethora uh -huh. of, hey, of what happens when you have broken. <laughs> yeah, broken guns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So let's check on eBay real quick. So one ninety five for really nice original matching straight grip walnut set. This is one ninety five pre owned. That's three hundred. So Oof. I'd, I'd have to get literally every other part though. What are you, what like are you looking at, nice break? I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking at a Remington Model Eleven receiver. Ah, okay. No barrel and stuff. Nope, no barrel. And stuff. Well, you just get the barrel, I guess. But yeah. Yeah. Well, we'll see. You know, let's just say that this thing only goes for like four or five hundred. You know, then I'd consider if I could pick it up for that price, and then just get that stock set for it for one forty. And then you know, and you guys said parts, right? Even that that vintage parts are still readily available for it. Oh, yeah. and levers. Yeah. And there's no okay, okay. Because I don't want to buy something if there's some part that you just can't find anymore. I don't want to have to worry about you know, because I'd I'd have to take it apart and give everything an inspection to make sure it's got no issues before I take it out. Oh yeah, well we've yeah. got like my local gun shop has four A fives in it, and uh, people around here they eventually you know just they stop using them or they retire or they die and they end up going into a local gun shop. And so we can pick through them fairly regularly around here. I mean, I, I still think that the Browning Company still makes the Auto Five. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah they got they make catalog. I got the catalog right here. They make a yeah. whole line oh, of it, dude. Yeah. Grant, grant, granted, they they just they just cut it short and they just call it the A five now. But it's it's literally yeah, the Browning yeah. R five. Yeah, what I was saying about prices though is I think that I think they start around twelve hundred dollars, which is why I was thinking about just going with the used one, something I can actually you know look up Arts Gen dude. Shop. They have one for sale right now for four seventy five. That's a beater. Okay. Let's see, absolute. Let's see, base. Looking at the Browning catalog right now. It's the Maxis. They make so many different models of these things. It's just crazy. <laughs> There's so many different yeah. styles. They make they make one that's that's got the composite and the bluing. I think it was eleven hundred bucks, but I could be wrong. That's a great shotgun. Yeah. Is, I'm still kicking is. myself for not buying that one at the gun show. I should have taken like five or six hundred and just offered them cash to see if they would take it. Yeah, could have been just been done with it. But hindsight's always twenty twenty. Oh, I know, man. man. <laughs> it's always. Uh, <laughs> well, now everything you know, you're not going to get any lower. I mean, for a while there, you could find them, you know, a couple hundred bucks off MSRP. Now everything's going for basically retail. So, yep. Yeah, it's depressing. 
the the gun that I evaluated today was three hundred and eighty five dollars when I bought it, and it's going oh, wow. for it's still sub five hundred, but it's almost a hundred dollars more expensive now. And that's oh crazy. yeah, yeah, easy. I paid for that for the Canic SC that I bought. I paid three ninety nine for it. And oh I think, yeah. Uh, I think they were two sixty nine when they when they bottomed down two ninety nine before when they bottomed down price a year ago. God, yeah. that's a nice pistol, dude. I mean, it's <laughs> and you can still get the, you get the factory magazines for it directly yep. from from Canic. The and if you get yep. the twenty the twenty round mags, there's companies on or people on eBay that are three D printing sleeves. Yep. So you can get you can get sleeves for it if you want the twenties, and it fits the PL Mini Valkyrie too, just perfectly. It, I'll tell you, man, it's a little top heavy, but it's it's still very controllable. It's got a sweet yep. trigger in it. I mean, it's yep. basically what it's a Walther W99 clone, more or less. Yep. yep. Um, it's 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 a hell, of, and you get you get the two mags, a twelve and a fifteen. You get a hard case. You get an outside the waistband holster, well, inside outside convertible holster. Um, I mean, you get the tools. It's got the it's got the RMR cut on the top. It's got your red optics cut on the top of it. Mm-hmm. So and I'm, I'm I don't know if, I don't know what optic to go with though I was thinking about going with the Swamp Fox Swamp Fox Sentinel I can never say that damn word one or somebody was telling me that the uh, not the SMS Shield they said stay away from that Trigicon has a, a micro red dot coming out soon yeah I'm still it's like five hundred dollars but yeah I'm a Burris guy oh, Burris and... yeah the fast fire didn't you did yes. you suggest the fast fire yeah somebody left a comment on my video this morning super early and they said hey check out the fast fire three or something no i didn't fire comment one your them. video but okay, yeah okay. i like the fast fire three um i'm a big fan of that one but there are Look complaints what, 200 on it. or something like that it's about 199 and i don't use them for carry weapons uh i refuse to put a battery in a carry weapon so um but just for you know this, like competition or target shooting works great this one will co-witness though the sights well, it, the sights are designed to go witness with the micro red dot. Yeah, so if the red dot's out, it you still got your front. The rear, the back is blacked out, and the front is just a single white dot. And it is designed to co witness with it. I don't know if it's like a like the red dot sits on top of it, or if it's right in front of it. Like what you see is what you see. But yeah, it is designed to uh, to to, to co witness. So that's so that's a yeah. yeah that takes that factor out completely. That's yeah, you don't have to worry about swapping out the sights or having sights that aren't usable that are blocked by the mount and stuff. So yep. Cool. Dude, I'm gonna have to buy another A5 now. You've got me. <laughs> <laughs> they're just they're just neat shotguns, man. When I see it, I just think of, you know, like the old grandpa and my uh we have a family photo on my dad's side of his his uncles and, and uh older family members and they're all they all got their goddamn this is from this is an old picture, man. It's black and white. They've all got like their suspenders on and their friggin' like fedoras and cigarettes hanging uh-huh. out. Their they yeah, all got their they all got their shotties, their own fives, they're all holding ducks up in the air for like a family photo. Oh wow! <laughs> you know, and, oh yeah. There's it's a classic. I mean, it looks like a friggin' like it's like the Bohemian Mafia or something when you look at it. So yeah, check the Czech Mafia basically. The picture. Uh, yeah, sweet. yeah. Coming off, right? up, yeah. There's like there's like eight of them. They're all sitting there smiling, holding their shotguns and their ducks, and they're all smoking and they're all you know. <laughs> Wearing their decal overalls and stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, my great grandfather had an A5. Yeah, I got a I got a picture that... of my great grandpa, and uh, <laughs> this is old school, man. Like homie looked like fucking Pancho Villa, bro. No lie, dude. Lying. There you go. <laughs> it might have been. It might have no, been. My, it could have been. My, Maybe my, Emiliano Zapata, one of the two. He might have no, fought with his army, man. Grandpa, you don't know, dude. My great grandpa was a colonel in the Guatemalan army, bro. Ah. Oh. Oh. That boy was pimp. I was like, damn, look at homie. <laughs> big ass fucking Colt 45s. I was like, oh yeah, don't fuck with that guy. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Long slide 45. Picture, and you know what's crazy is that they use the their hats were kind of like the drill sergeant hats. So kind of picture a guy with a drill sergeant hat with with, brown, brown. with freaking 45s running across the, with those bands on there. And two big ass forty fives and shit, and he's got these boots and stuff, and he's got his little, it looked like like dickies and shit, you know. I know I'm trying to be stereotypical here, yeah. but the same. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need no stinking badges. I mean, homie was looking pimp. I was like, damn. And then okay, so I, I'm looking at the history. Was this was he in there for the Guatemalan Civil War between sixty and and ninety six? Are we pre nineteen sixty? No, man. Are I we talking? This, no, this is like, like the fifties or. 
Oh, oh wow. Fighting, right? Okay, okay. Dang. All right. Yeah, yeah. So when they were still why... fighting off the Spaniards, right? No. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what they were fighting, bro. But where the hell's I mean, Cortez? Wrong pictures. country, bro. <laughs> I mean, like, homie looked rough. I was like, damn. That's like, crazy, man. man. Was a badass. <laughs> <Nah>. <laughs> Actually, Cortez is right over there, Travis. What? Who? What? Yeah, Air their name Cortez. Yep, George. There you go. Yeah, George. My, George? my last name is Cortez. <laughs> George oh, no, is Cortez. Don't mess with the Cortezes, man. Not Jorge, hey, no, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. They're not the same dude, man. That's <laughs> 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 your cousin, bro. Yeah. yeah. What's up, might be his cousin. It's like my great, 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 times 12, great, 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 great times another 12, uh, uh, great uncle, half brother's uh, roommate. There you go. There you go. Damn. And what does it make us? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Your father's Absolutely sister's nothing. brother's uncle's cousin's former roommate. <laughs> there you go. Right. How many times have I seen that movie? <laughs> yeah. No, you know, you guys seen that the 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 sticker says uh my my girlfriend's husband fights for my freedom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was dying. Oh, that's no. a good one, man. Uh, <laughs> damn. Oh, dude, Jody that's hilarious. gets your girl. <laughs> Jody gets your girl. Uh, I was like, wow, that boy's just obvious. Ooh, they got a DD214 poncho liner. That's the gift that keeps on giving. Hey, Nighthawk Medic. Mm hmm. They've gone plaid. They've gone to plaid. I love that movie. That was before people that that he made right. movies that basically gave the the finger to racism, and yeah. our country has gone from giving the finger to racism and flat out calling racists ignorant to uh -huh. basically saying that they have some kind of power again, right. and that makes no sense <laughs> to me. Comb the desert, sir. I think it would be yeah, too literal. Not... This one, <laughs> it's like you over hey, there. Man, what did you found. find anything? No, we, no, we haven't found shit. anything. Have you found anything? No, we haven't found anything. They've got the, they've got the uh, the, the, the pimp they had comb. A pick. Just like, yeah. 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 Did you guys Afro find pick. anything? Man, we have found shit. <laughs> no, I like where we saw the, the the chips on the horses, the Planet of the Apes. What's that? Space balls. What's coming oh, out of her nose? There goes out the planet. There goes the planet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. You, ever, you guys ever seen uh, Better Off Dead, the John Cusack movie? Yes. Oh, yeah. Remember he falls into the garbage <laughs> Maybe it's a bit of relish. The two, yeah. the two, the two uh, black uh, poll, poll workers are up there, and they see him go by, and he waves at them. Man, it's a shame when people be throwing away a perfectly good white boy Pretty like that. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly good white boy like that. Uh, I, 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 I know, the man. Younger brother, he ended up making like a laser pistol and stuff, you know? They, yeah, yeah, he, a rocket ship, because he's flying. He's actually leaving <laughs> yeah. the planet, and he he like he gets one on like how to court women or something. He opens the door, yeah. and there's like eight he's women in the guy the kid's bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even. I, 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 it's, I didn't understand any of that until I watched it later. I was like, "Oh my god, yeah. the kid! He was so cool, man!" Uh, oh god! He, shuttle, the, he made a space show. He was leaving. Yeah. He was coming out of the garage. <laughs> <laughs> no, my, my my favorite one stereotypical of white people was Malibu's Most Wanted. Oh my that god! Was, that was a classic oh cinema. My <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Uh, I was like. <laughs> No, you. Didn't. I can say I've never actually seen that movie before. I oh, I don't. Oh, I, I never did watch it. it so you I think I was probably working in college it. at the time when I came out, so I didn't have time for it. But yeah. Mm. Oh no! It, it's a, it, it's it's worth your time. You'll laugh your ass off. So how are you going to reference Better Off Dead and not talk about the funniest scene in that movie? What two dollars cash or what? No, the <laughs> scene where he's sitting there with the girl and they're going back and forth because he thinks he's got a booger on his face, and they're both scratching e each other's their faces. Oh man, oh, yeah. do I have a bit of relish or something? And he's like, Oh god, oh god, not that. Please, God, don't let it be a booger. Anything but a booger. <laughs> Dude, I like, I like the his his buddy. Speaking of a booger, you know, booger from Revenge of the Nerds. Oh man. This yeah. This is all pure snow. Do you realize the street value of this mountain? Look, would you please quit thinking about drugs for just a second? Look, dude, I could be right. I could be home right now drinking this eggnog. My uncle makes up a lighter fluid. But I'm here with you right now. So what do you think I should do? 
Go that way. Really, really fast. Yeah. If anything gets in your way, turn. Turn. All right, I got it, bro. <laughs> And then, and then have, before he goes down the mound, they go to the ski shop, and the guy's in the wheelchair with the cast on and everything. Uh, yeah, I tried yeah. to go down the K2, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, I'll be okay. He's got a neck brace on. His arm's got a cast on. His leg's in the cast, you know? Oh, <laughs> man. That movie's yeah, a there, classic, man. There yeah. were some great movies. Gross Point Blank. That's a good one, oh, too. Oh, yeah. Scott. Gross Point Blank, yeah. Yep. <laughs> well, one Crazy you know Summer. One old. Crazy Summer's a good one, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, where's Augie? Oh, he's just collecting some shells for his old man. Oh, it's, a, it's more like his base. He's out there in the freaking missile range or the, 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 the artillery range picking up the, the 50 millimeter shells for his dad. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, my God. My dad gets 25 bucks a piece for these babies. <laughs> <laughs> Incoming. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, movies of the 80s, man. The, oh, my all time favorite, okay. though. The, the one from my childhood I remember the most was Bachelor Party. With Tom oh, Hanks. Party with Tom Dude, Hanks. a donkey yes. snorting cocaine. Oh, my yep. God. You don't get any funnier than that. You'll never see that these days, you know? All these potty mouth I, movies. I, 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 I Peter, would have to be, Peter would be having, like, a you know, like, a heart attack going, like, campaigning. That, oh, you guys made a donkey snort cocaine. That, that was a movie you had to watch when your parents weren't around. That was the R-rated yep. movie on HBO. Yep. It's like, oh, my yeah. dad, I'm going to watch Bachelor Party. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you remember My Science Project, Weird oh, yeah. Science, yep, yep, all yep. those? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, those are on, were... on, like, sci-fi on the weekends yeah. quite a bit. Are those they are really? on, like, on Sundays and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah they tend to watch show a lot of old 80s uh, vintage uh, sci-fi movies or comedies. Yep. Yeah. Mm. I fell that's in another love one. with it. Yeah. With the M16A2 with the uh, M2 with the M2 launcher after that. Scott movie. P79 has to go and tell everyone remember Porky's. I do oh, remember God, Porky's. Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, I had the truck through with my dad, of all things. Daddy I had dad, a man. very corrupted childhood. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mom would send me with the you... notes so I could get in to see R rated movies. I could watch Predator and Robocop and stuff <laughs> without. She'd oh, like man. call the theater and tell him I'm coming to let me in. <laughs> it's parental oh, permission yeah. back in the he, 80s. Me and a couple friends of mine had gone to a theater downtown, and it was an old theater that, that got changed into a matinee. And then, of course, later on, it would be like uh, the X rated movies. Well, me uh, and my friend were going to go see uh, Jason the Argonauts, you know? Oh. And I thought, okay, we're going to see this movie and stuff like that. And then, I, for me, I was always kind of. I always used to look older when I was younger. You know, it's kind of weird. Sometimes they see me now, they think I'm younger. Well, if you're Hispanic, you probably have like a full beard by the time you're 14, yeah. you know? I mean, geez, you know? I'm just saying. You know? So we go in there and get tickets for it. And somehow, you know, we go inside the lobby and it says, hey, well, look, dude, they, they charged me an adult. And he goes, really? He goes, yeah. And my friends, they got they got charged, you know, miters, you know? So they goes, hey, let's go upstairs and watch a... Uh, uh, Blues Brothers, since uh, you, you're a <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, yeah. So we, we ran up to go see Blues Brothers instead of Jason and the Argonauts. <laughs> like, I'm here with my uncle. <laughs> uh, it was hilarious, man. But it was hilarious when you go to the movies, you know, and, like, you go in there, like, okay, to to uh, to movie matinee, you know, you're going to go in there and stuff, and you go to the lobby between movies, you know, get whatever, go to the restroom, get snacks, whatever. And then when the second movie's over, and you walk out, you see a bunch of old guys sitting in the lobby waiting for the porno movies to come out. You just start God. laughing. You know? I was like, "Oh my God, these guys are gonna be here. These guys are here to watch the porno movies." Man. Did you guys, your parents ever send you to like the corner store to pick up their cigarettes when you were kids? You remember yep. that? Yep. Good they, God, I'm sitting here thinking about yep. that now. Like, do you realize how many laws? My parents broke. I mean, my mom would call ahead, send me with money, which would get exchanged for like a carton of Virginia Slims. You know, I put it in my backpack and roll back on my huffy and drop it off. <laughs> Dude, I, I was I was, I was like a tobacco. My parents used me as a tobacco mule, man. I could have been yeah. sent to juvie if I'd have got caught, you know? I, I was above six foot tall and I weighed. 215 pounds when I was 16 years old. So nobody oh, thought God. I was underage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. My mom would call ahead and I'd go up there. Here's a note for my mom. Here's your smokes. Thanks. Yeah, I didn't know any better. I just took them home. Yeah, just, you know, just pick it up whatever your mom sent you for, you know? Uh, basically. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Never alcohol, but cigarettes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> In the South, especially, nobody gives a crap. Mm. Nope. <laughs> well, no, it's more like in the '90s when they started cracking down, doing sting operations and all yeah. that. 
garbage, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. because night it tab tobacco was the big problem in the nineties. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. That was the thing to break up, you know. Yeah. Yep. By the way, I want to congratulate drugs on winning the war on drugs. Did anybody see the heroin is now legal in Oregon? Oh my god, are you kidding me? No. No, I think well, it's, it's been small, it's been purified like water. water. There's organic you know, on GMO, <laughs> sustainably harvested heroin that you can use now. That's better for you than regular heroin. And regular this is sarcasm, heroin. by the way, just, just for the record. So. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Or you can get it at Whole Foods now. It's totally acceptable. It's, yeah. you know, hormone-free. Yeah. <laughs> hormone-free heroin. <laughs> it's going to yeah. be the next big thing, you know? No, no, RGB, ST. And then on the back of the package, it says there's no studies that show any difference between heroin treated with hormones and heroin not treated with hormones, you know? Yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. my God. DVD oil and stuff. <laughs> it's like, oh, but it's legal in, in you know, Amsterdam. Yeah, they're messed up too, you know? <laughs> yeah, we'll go to Amsterdam. <laughs> go walk around for a little while, yeah. I mean, right yeah, now, okay. this is how I'm feeling. Okay. It's the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> <sighs> Are have any of the states finalized their counts, or is this all stuff all on hold until the courts no, decide it? No, they, they they haven't, and I don't I don't want to get into politics, but I'm just considering this right now. No, I'm just asking because I'm I'm tired of watching the TV and staring at the same yeah. four maps over and over again for two so days. Long. So I'd be better off playing like an '80s RPG on an old Commodore 64. It'd be more enjoyable, you know. I was, it, I was watching it today, and it's funny between CNN and Fox News. It's be like CNN, Biden, 254. Uh, two fourteen. Uh, yeah, yeah. Electoral right. Go to Fox. Biden has two sixty four, and, and and Trump has two thirteen. I'm like, what the heck? What does that actually count? Well, well, what the hell's going on? You know, why is it two like, fourteen? Has so, it has it changed now? Didn't it go to like didn't no. didn't Biden drop to two forty? Something uh, or another. I saw one that said two forty and like two. I don't know two twenty years. I don't know. I mean I don't the. Know. It, so, the official count would be as if they if they gave everybody the count that they should have. Uh, without so Nevada hasn't completed, right? Yeah, Georgia, Georgia is technically complete as far as I can tell, or should be close. Yeah. North Carolina and PA, PA you, will complete sometime tonight or tomorrow. So mm -hmm. you you should it should be like one sixty four to one sixty five right now with everybody waiting for Nevada and our and uh, Alaska. So. Um, I mean, to be honest with you, yeah, there's but, no way for Trump to win without a lawsuit at this point. So, but with with Alaska, it doesn't it doesn't make any sense. Alaska's only got a population of seven hundred eighty three thousand people. Alaska, Why can't they count those votes? Alaska has an extended voter rule based on mail the a specific need for mail in ballots. I think they get like seven days or something like that beyond. The oh election. my god! It's always been that way. Mm -hmm. Crazy. All right. Well, a anyways, that's all we're going to talk about. We're not yeah. going to go into any anything yeah. further. Otherwise, it's going to make us depressed. Yeah. I'm not depressed. I've lived through plenty of Democrats and plenty of Republicans. I've had my gun rights taken away by Republicans, and I've had them restored by Democrats and vice versa. What I always tell people is what you're worried about is who's got the Senate, who's got Congress, and who has the Supreme Court. And yeah. Joseph Biden would be completely hamstrung if he got the president of the United States right now. That's why all Democrats look like somebody peed in their Wheaties. They're pissed off that they didn't get the, the seats of power. Remember, there's three branches of government. You need all of them working for you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because yeah, right now with the, with, the, with the House, it's 192 to like 208. Yep. Yeah. So if they lose the House... And they lose the Senate. And then, you know, it doesn't matter whether they get the presidency or not. They ain't getting shit done. Well, it, it, as long as we have the Senate and there's a respectable balance of power in the House. And then right now the Supreme Court is actually not completely lefty, then we're good. All right. No more politics. Out of politics. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're done. That's all, so. folks. Pop, 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 pop. Yeah. So <laughs> with that, I think we're going to call it a night. I'm going to go get some. <laughs> Some dinner. I haven't eaten dinner yet, so I'll go do that. And you guys, you guys do whatever you want to do. It's fine. Oh, sure. I get off work late and hop in. You guys are quitting. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, crap. Defense Dad is in here. Shut the stream. Shut the stream. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what kind of cheese do you want to talk about? <laughs> I mean, do you, do you oh, want me sorry, to go longer? Guys. I mean, do you want to continue talking while said. I go while I go and get some food and come back? Because I can do that right Dude, now. Dude, I you guys want to go I'm on. just kidding. I got out of work 45 minutes late. <laughs> Le- leave us here unmonitored. Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. Travis, Travis, you're in charge. I'm not staying out for another 45 minutes. I'm going to bed, man. It's a yeah, school night. I got stuff no, to do. I, I, was, I was totally joking. I just got out of work late and logged on. I mean, I'm, not, I'm not joking. Give me like give me like five minutes, all right? I won't, I won't kill it then. But, you know, like, yeah, you jump she's out. got the right yeah. idea. Look at that's right. That's that's what I should be doing. Don't, right? don't, 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 don't show cats. That makes me sad. Travis, don't do that. That makes me sad. <laughs> cool. Th- th- what have we been for, talking about tonight? Thanks for making me feel even worse, Travis. Hey, man, there's always another animal that needs your love, right? I know, but I can't. And I'm can't, not talking I, about any A either. I know, I know. I can't get another cat right now, so. <laughs> I understand. I, I have four cats. All right, all right. Somebody's got to be in charge. Cat. Who wants to be in charge? I, I have promises to be elsewhere, so it's not me. Okay. No, dude, I'm driving, so <laughs> if you guys want to cut it, I was really just giving you shit. Uh, you, know, you know what? You know what? I'm putting George in charge. Yeah, put Jorge in charge. Jorge. Jorge's Jorge in charge. Jorge. All right, Jorge, sure, if, anyone, if anyone doesn't keep it PG-13, give him the boot. Okay. Hey, should I see a new gun? That way we can get this thing. Uh, asking a lot, dude. I'm I'm totally gonna sing as soon as you log out, Night Strike. I'm just telling you. Please don't. <laughs> He's gonna sing. Should I Travis my... is still awake. Night Strike, a channel strike. Well, uh, maybe not for much longer, but. <laughs> yeah. Looking at that auto five, that was that Nighthawk. You posted that over here on. on yeah. From Gunbroker. So wow. that's. Three three oh five is where it's at right now. How many days are left on it? Uh, it's got eight days on it oh, now. Why God. this is why this yeah, is man. critical though? Hang on just a second. Is it has the modernized modernized stocks on it, which means they'll be a little tougher. And then this is a little higher class of uh, decorative, if you will. They, somebody's kind of highlighted them there a little bit. Yeah, I see that. Yeah. So this is a, a step up from the entry level model. So keep an eye on it too. <clears throat> yeah, Packmar butt stock on it. Yep. <clears throat> now is that gold? Are those gold accents from like brass or something? Brass inlays in the engraving, or what is that all about? It, it could be crayon. I mean, we don't have any idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It wouldn't. It's not, have I mean, it's not. It. It's not bad. I mean, like I said, I no. want. I want one I can actually take out and use. I don't really care. I just want to pick one up and I yeah. want to pay twelve hundred dollars for one. So I, I'm going to watch that one also. Okay. Yeah, this is a good looking shooter. Um, it's had a little professional guns gunsmith work done on it, um, but like I said, you'll shoot that for the next thirty years. What is it you're selling? Oh no, we're just looking at auto fives this evening on uh, Gun oh, Broker. Okay. See what kind of good deals are out there. Yeah, gotcha. Still kicking myself for not buying that one when we were at the gun show there, Dee Dee. Yeah. Yeah. God, yeah. I would have just taken like five or six hundred dollars with me and just offered it for him right there and taking it. But okay, I'm back. I'm back. I got some food. Back. We had a Where's gun show down here the other day, and it was extortionate. Right. The prices on everything were just awful. Yeah. Well, That's all the gun shows is where I go to, man. It's all Chinese made stuff, and it, and it's like high price. Like thinking we're we have a lot of money here, you know. Dude, 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 dude! Don't don't talk about your overlords on public recorded chats. Don't you know that? <laughs> yeah. well, think about it right now. Everything that holds less than ten rounds doesn't have a box magazine. The price has gone up on it right now, especially if they find out Biden wins. Uh so is this technically a gun discussion? Um, <laughs> make it into one. We can really take off Night Strike and make it a reloading discussion if you want. So. Well, no, think about it right now. The only safe thing to buy, the only 100% safe thing to buy is a revolver, some sort of hunting rifle, or or a shotgun. And since that's what's safe to buy right now, the prices are going to go up on them. 
you know, it's not I, double action because they'll, you know, they'll just classify it as semi-auto, just you know, because I, they can. <laughs> I hate to be that guy, but I've got way too much shit to even worry about that. At the end of the day, if they're going to come murder us over semi-automatic rifles and everything else, yeah. I what am I going to hide? I've got stuff coming out my ears. So, well, I'm just saying, but if someone's yeah, making new purchases on their own militia. I mean, if, the re- if, if someone's making new purchases right now, why would you add the fuel to their fire? If you're going to buy something new right now, get something that's safe. Like, that's how I'm looking at it. It well, sucks. But that, uh, dude, we've had record sales in the last six months. It doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. There's been so, so many yeah. freaking guns that have been bought in the last year. I mean, it's so, just, so the yeah. I, I don't go... I don't trim purchases for a very specific reason. So I don't think that I'll ever have to use an AR-15 in my lifetime, okay, as, as yeah. anything but a range toy. Uh, God help us all if we have to. But if yeah. I don't buy the AR-15, then the AR-1500 is not for sale. The AR-1500 laser rifle is not for sale for the next generation, right? Man. Amazing. And so uh, you, you buy that gun – manufacturer stays in business and then the next generation has the anti-tyranny rifle available. Yeah. That is the like, equivalent to whatever the army is using, right? Well, yeah. but like me and most people in here at least probably already have a good mix of everything. Now, personally, I don't have like a revolver, so that'd be a safe purchase for me because even if he does pass all his BS gun ban, that's probably not going to get taken not be an NFA item, right? Yeah. Well, so, the way the not three gonna lie, I'm kind of looking at revolvers right now just for the hell of it. <laughs> the way the three branches of government are set up to look right now, he wouldn't get anything like that through. Like I said, yeah. right now, if you look at the Democrats, they all look like somebody crapped in their Wheaties, and they stand to potentially have the presidency, but they didn't win anything else of significant value. And so yeah. they, the odds so, of Biden pushing through his Tyrannistic gun ban are just about zero at this point. Yeah. So we got, hey, we got but then he'll look just like that uh, character in uh, Jeff Dunham's fucking Grumpy Guy. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was hilarious, bro. We've got we've got oh, yeah. Grumpy Bear in Walter, here. Walter, uh, that's his name. There you go. Yeah, Walter. Grumpy Bear. I haven't seen you before. Uh, you, can, you probably watch, been watching. Uh, or hey, watching. I normally follow uh, Matt's channel for the most part, yeah. and. I seen that you were live, and I'm like, "Hey, I think I'll jump in if you let me." <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, no, the, the Thursday night chats and the Friday night chats. If I don't send you a link on the Friday, just you know, email me and I'll send you a link. Basically, we're just hanging out, talking about stuff, trying not to talk too much about the elections because we're all burnt out from that. Does anybody own a 586 Lcom by chance? I can't hear anything. What is going on? I know, Samantha, but I feel like I'm in Armageddon waiting for the Whoever other is outside, mute your shit, please. Yeah. There. There we go. Okay, Here what go. did he ask? What did he ask? Uh, we did, uh, does anybody own a 586 LCOM? Smith and no. Wesson. No. No. Sexy gun, though. Yes. But no. <laughs> I don't, do you have one? <laughs> I'd like to borrow it. <laughs> <laughs> borrow would not return, please. <laughs> no, don't, don't give Medic shit. He's already got a bunch of it. Did, do, you, <laughs> do you have issues with your pistol? <laughs> not at all, no. Oh, I okay. have, well, I sent a... Uh, here recently, I sent a... Uh, uh, 357 38 special uh, 686 into Smith and Wesson to get the ejector worked on, and they repositioned the yoke and switched out the ejector, and I should be getting that back here in like two weeks. Nice. nice. So I know that my buddy who has one of those actually re- has like swapped the front side on it and done a bunch of work to it because apparently there were some issues with the moon clips on it. Um, yeah. But I'm not familiar with it. Uh, close and personally like I probably should be because I like weird guns. Cool. Here, here, what was it, about February I just started buying a shit ton of revolvers. I have no idea why. Maybe Yankee rubbed off on me a little bit? Well, no I, idea. I, 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 I have to ask I have to ask, how close were you to him at the time? <clears throat> yes. 
<laughs> to your response. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So Flat is in here. I haven't seen Flat in forever, other than the other day when Bob was live. What's going on, Flat? Oh, not much. Uh, uh, maneuvering around your magnificent country right now. Hey, you love this country. Don't lie. Yeah, well, I'm heading towards Chicago tomorrow, so that'll be fun. <laughs> that's oh, not our country. Oh, that's not that's our country. Our country. <laughs> no. That's a war zone, bro. <laughs> they, they call it Chirac. <laughs> yeah. They call it yeah. Chirac for a reason. Yeah, that's Chirac. not that's not America. That's no. <laughs> that's the failed American dream is what that is, okay? Yeah. That, it is, it is, it is. <laughs> That's that's the occupied country. <laughs> it's a province. All those all those crime movies you watch from the eighties, that's what you're going into. So yeah. 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 New York, Chicago, and Council Bluffs. We can get rid of all three of those. Yeah. But it's, it's good to yeah. see you, man. I haven't seen you forever. Yeah, well, it's been forever since I've been on a gun chat. Like hell. Yeah. Like long before uh, G Web shut down the website. Yeah. Wow. It's been a long while, but uh, yeah, and then Google Hangouts decided to stop doing the live stuff, so you know, I had to come up with some sort of solution, and this is my solution so far. Yeah, it works. It works. We're live. We're having conversations. We can have more than 10 people. We can have upwards of 20 to 30 people in here if we wanted to. Wow. Holy wow. crap. Holy you must have paid the me. platinum plan. Well, no, I, I ran an Indiegogo project to set this stuff up. And it, yeah. I set it up. It's, it's working. It may not be working as well as everyone wants it to, but hey, uh, right now I, I I'm doing what I can, the best I can do with the resources I've got. So, I mean, I'd say this is, you know, it working as well as it is right now is a uh, is a miracle in itself. Man, knock on wood, shit. Yeah. So, hey, I have a uh, local gun show coming up here on Saturday, and I'm thinking about going, and I have no idea what I'm going to be looking for, if I'm going to be looking for anything. Millserps. 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 Maybe go, I mean, go for an SKS, or if you can get a nice, you know, it's like a like, nice bolt action, or, yeah. Like a Mosin. Phase 5 rifle, 40 yard range. <laughs> I, I was actually looking for a radium rifle. Just to, uh, yeah. The Uzi 9 millimeter. <laughs> no, no, he's looking for the radium just to complete his Fallout collection. Exactly. Listen, yeah. pal, just what you see here, okay? Just what you yeah. see here. <laughs> he goes, what are you going to take? Oh, oh shock. I make those early today. I mean, I, 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 I'd really like to have, you know, you know, <laughs> One of those, one of those uh, what was it, uh, T-45 power armors, but it's just not in the cards right now. Yeah, yeah that's true. You know, oh, the XO ones are like the platinum. You know, they're like the Lincoln of power armors. You can't get those either. Oh, yeah, but the T forty five B, we could definitely get one of those. <laughs> right, right, right. Oh, boy, right. tomorrow's tomorrow's a Mandalorian. Oh yeah. yeah. Is that going to so, be episode thought, two or three? It should be two. 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 I haven't seen two yet. So yeah. okay. So, so. Yeah. The but, thing is, the thing is hilarious is that when I when I finally got to see Mandalorian. It had already shown. the The season had already had already been out, so I got to binge watch, you know, or what, as much as what I could, you know. So when I saw yeah. all the episodes, so yeah, yeah. last Friday I was like, "All right, I'm gonna watch me a couple episodes," and, stuff. and then all of a sudden, Travis, you have problems with Mike? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Mute yourself, Travis. Or get back. Get back. Sounds like I'm myself again. All right. <laughs> so I was like, "Cool, man! It's oh, just one episode." So I got to wait all, uh, all week to you know another week to see the next episode, then the next. And so I'm like, oh. "We got super bad videos out the there." The struggle's real, bro. Yeah, we got Walter real. Davis out there. What's going on, Walter? Hey, oh, how much man. is uh, Disney episode. Plus per month? How much now? Is how much is Disney Plus per month now? Uh, I, don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I've, I've got I've got the uh, the the uh, the uh, Hulu uh, ESPN Plus uh, Disney Plus plan. I, like, I get oh, I, I okay. Get my, brother, my brother has uh, Netflix, Hulu, and uh, Disney Plus, and he got us a Roku, so he made us an account so we can watch. So, <clears throat> so I, I okay. guess I get a five finger discount. Well, I guess you know. 
uh, Walter, ba Walter Davis has some uh, some information. Apparently, there's a, a rally in Harrisburg on Saturday. Is that a gun rally, Walter, or is it a, a two way rally, or what, what what kind of rally is it? They're rallying for the freedom of bunnies. <laughs> Just thought I'd ask. Oh, <laughs> so, so Flaff, since you're in this country, have you gotten COVID yet? I've been coast to coast. I've been fuck. I've been from Victoria Island all the way to uh, Nova Scotia four times, and this is my second trip into the to the U.S. in a week. Wow! I've yet to get tested. My wife and kids been tested like four times, and they've all come up clean. Cool. <laughs> well, it does Am exist. I... I caught it back in July. Like, I think I got it back in uh, January. Am I one of the only people that's like, oh, if I get COVID, no big deal because I'll be over it in two weeks type of thing? Because how, how old are you? I just want the time off. Uh, I'm only 28. I wish I had that kind of If you're 28, you're, 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 you're closer towards my age than anybody else in here. I'm going to tell yeah. you right now. You'll probably you'll you'll probably be out of, be sick in bed for maybe a week, maybe two, and that's it. Yeah, if you're lucky. That, that's kind of my thing. I'm going with it. I'm just like, well, I'll take two weeks off of work. I mean, that's fine. <laughs> I, he, I do, he, 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 didn't, he didn't really have it. He had gonorrhea for two weeks. He didn't want to tell anybody. <laughs> no, I, I actually went and got tested, and they said, "Yeah, you've got COVID. Go home and sleep." Oh sleep man. All. Yeah. So. And I mean, I'm pretty sure I, I caught it at the beginning of the year there. Gonorrhea. Yeah. So, gonorrhea, that's hilarious. You know what's keeping you healthy there, Bathmaster? It's all those delicious Wonder Bar candy bars you guys won't sell us in the U.S. That's oh. what's doing it to us, man. That's what's keeping you guys alive. Kinder <laughs> is <laughs> keeping you healthy. No, let's go, sir. Here's the uh, Super Troopers too. Yeah, that's yeah. hilarious. <laughs> the the drugs, the drugs that they were not allowed in the U.S. You know, the the female uh, uh, stimulant. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that movie is hilarious, man. I love that movie. <laughs> Did anybody see uh, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back Two? Like, oh, I know I it. It. I oh you, it. Mean, you, know, you, re you mean the reboot? Yeah, the reboot. Man, that, that thing was such a pile of crap. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, 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 had, it, had, it had funny parts, but, you know, the whole Russian thing, that, that kind of pissed me off. Yeah, it was, I don't know. I was I was expecting more going into it, but it's also a nostalgia thing, and blah. Yeah. It, it, it wasn't as funny as Jay and Silent Bob, or as Dogma. Dogma was even funnier. Dogma. No, I, I love... So, back in the day when Comedy Central would play that, like, almost every Sunday, I would watch it at least once every Sunday. Right. Yeah, but, but, you know, at least with Dogma, you had George Carlin in it. He was the, uh, he was the bishop. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty, that was hilarious. That the, was unwritten, hilarious. the unwritten book of the, of the road. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm like, man, no thanks. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, I'm in a jet, so you guys all take care and have a good night. All right. Take all care, right, later, Travis. That all means to be good, guys. Later, 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 later Travis. Travis. Peace. He was the uh, he was a bishop. Okay, who's watching it? Yeah, it was pretty yeah, it was hilarious. That yeah, was hilarious. Yeah, all right, it's the fence down. <laughs> oh, all right. <laughs> I don't want to hear myself. Who's sounded like Biker Bob there for a second? Yeah. No, it wasn't Bob. No. Damn your identical uh, laugh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Yeah, I was surprised well, because he had he had a show going on last time. When was it? It was last week. Last and night. It was. It was. It was a few nights ago. It was, yeah, like, it was what, Sunday night. Ago. Yeah. And I was like surprised because I was like, whoa, you know. It's like Bob's alive. Yeah, I said, I've seen him in a while. His phone call. <laughs> well, you, you know why he doesn't call because he doesn't care. 
<laughs> yeah, he, used to always, he used to always be in the, in the Daily Gun Show. So he was always a, a panelist, you know, yeah. and now and I'd seen him for a while. And I know that he was doing some other stuff. So I was like, I, okay. I, I don't know if you can see this very well, Flath, but uh, there's the bayonet that Bob gave me on the M1. No, oh, right on. So yes, he sent me the bayonet for the night. You know, the Springfield 1903 rifle. Luckily enough, those also fit on the M on the M1 Garand. So guess what I got? I got an M1 and I threw it on there because why not? Let's make it a spear or a pike for good measure. <laughs> yeah. I don't teach those zombies. Yeah, you can steer right through them. Yeah, that thing's like. What, like a fifty-two inch lance? <laughs> yeah. It's more of a pike or or or, or, or a spear, technically. Probably yeah. a pike. <laughs> well, but uh, you can have, you can have I, kids I, I, like 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 Rambo, you know? Yeah, like I've dwarf. got a, I think I might take another another picture of my uh, my PSA M sixteen A two, and just uh, put the M seven bayonet on there. Yeah, it's got it's got like a a two uh, furniture on there, but I mean, <clears throat> no. But uh, it's just I, I like the like that rifle. I don't know if I've shown that rifle. I, I, I'll show you the one I'm talking about. Yeah. You talking about the one you were trying to sell for a while? No, nah, that's that was just an AR-15. Oh, okay. This is the uh, is the is the is the M16 build because apparently PSA got around got around with being able to put M16 on the receiver. Oh, gotcha! Wow. Yeah. So I got I got one of those lowers. I put a KNS Precision, uh, you know, the uh, anti roll pin kit on that because I just felt like it, and uh, that's the only that's the only modification I've done other than just get a you know have a carry handle on it. And I would love to have a, uh, if anybody was a big fan of uh, Fallout New Vegas, I'd love yeah. to have an M16 with... Uh, wood furniture. The, uh, yeah, the wood furniture. That would be freaking amazing. Then you'd have a service rifle. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What I'd like to do is I'd like to get A1 furniture and put it on this rifle. And that way with the uh, with the M7 bayonet, it'd, lo it'd look original. You guys ever seen the wood furniture available for your Boyd's gun stocks for them? Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that. I'd, I'd like to have the wood kind of look like old Mosin wood or something else, try to distress yeah. and age it just age, enough. Age, yeah. Yeah, that'd look... Uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I I was actually looking around Gun Broker to see if I couldn't find an old messed up lower that I wouldn't have to go and take sandpaper to myself. Just, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to have an old looking, uh, an old looking AR-15. Just well, well this this kind of this kind of goes into it. Uh, I've seen that you can get a pistol grip for your AR-15, which basically mimics the uh, the 1911 style pistol uh, Colt pistol grip. Hmm. <laughs> and I'm considering getting one of those for the AR just because you know I like the 1911. <clears throat> uh, all this AR talk, and I'm not allowed to even look at my AR anymore. Yeah, they they banned your AR. You, they banned your Norinkos. Your Norinkos. <laughs> oh. they, they also banned the cheap M1As you were getting from China, the M35s or 305s or something like that. Yeah, you. Uh... I went to one of the stores there the other day, and I'm like, where is everything? Everything's did banned. That, did they ever make right. that Norinco Glock? Eh? There was, there was, a, there was a, a Glock that the Norinco was making. It was like a little like a clone, you know? Except, I don't except, think they ever made it. Yeah, because I had not heard from that in a long time. I remember seeing it. I think it was a firearms blog a long time ago. And I guess they never made it. Gasting Glock probably said, no, no. I'm still finding a lot of uh, 762 by 39 around where I live. 
a lot of people aren't buying up uh, AK ammo, really. I bought a whole bunch of that a while back, and then now, now it's gone up quite a bit. Yeah, you can still pick up a thousand rounds for like three hundred ten bucks. It's still not too awful. I picked up fifteen hundred rounds from back when it was three ninety nine a box. Woo! I'm glad I bought all my crap when it was two hundred fifty bucks. Right. <laughs> oh, I'm probably still. I'm probably sitting on probably twenty thousand rounds. Wow. So where do you live? <laughs> somewhere somewhere in the continental United States, you know. Yeah, somewhere. Somewhere. I'm not gonna tell you. You, you yeah. can have all my stuff after I throw it off the boat. Yeah, right. <laughs> off the boat. Yeah. This friend of mine came out with a new one. He said that they, they went skeet shooting with the with uh not just shotguns, but with all kind of guns, pistols, rifles, and they do it right there by the border of Mexico. But sadly, you know, these boats, you know, when we're, you know, they all sunk in and got thrown into the water, you know. So <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's see if they'll believe that one. <laughs> right. They were playing the game where they were shooting across to each other and they keep, they kept hitting the holes of the boats and they all sank. <laughs> <laughs> At first, I thought. My friend was being real, you know. I thought he was saying, "Oh, he's really going skeet shooting." And, so, and then that one, he said, "Yeah." We, and we started using all kinds of uh, all kinds of uh, pistols and rifles and stuff. And I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> and he said, "Well, that must be interesting." And then as soon as he said, "Yep," but our guns fell into the river, so oh well, we <laughs> lost them. And I was like, "Oh, you, <laughs> you fibber, you." Yeah, I am finding a lot of uh, ten millimeter though. Not not a lot of people are buying that up. Uh, mm -hmm. All the three fifty seven thirty eight though around where I live gone. All wow. of it. Uh, forty four mag people really haven't touched. Oh, forty. Uh, I am seeing uh, some uh, some plus p. Some uh, 40 Smith & Wesson Plus P uh, Buffalo Boar. I've had my eye on for a little bit, but the shop is kind of hesitant to sell it to me. No. Oh. <laughs> because they say, oh, it's only good in revolvers. And I'm like, uh, I can still run it through my gun just fine. <laughs> <laughs> right. Our local shops are going in sports. Like for the last couple of months, it hasn't been that hard for me to find 9mm. Now it's gone again, but then... Same store has got a whole bunch of 380 and 40 and 45 in. So, if I wanted to go to my actual local gun shop, uh, there's a uh, an ammo supplier, small little ammo supplier uh, that's kind of local, local around where I live, and uh, they actually supply the gun shop with all of their target ammo, and you can go in there and pick up like a pound a day, which is about 30 rounds when they're still stocked. So if I wanted to do that every day, I could, but that's a lot of driving I don't want to do, so. Yeah, I don't know. I just hear you. Which that's like, their ammo right now is like, oh, I think pretty, mm, I think like 16 bucks a pound, so 16 bucks for like 30 rounds. Um, No, no thank you. Where's this at? Uh, I live in uh, Topeka, Kansas. Uh, oh. What am Gizzard I Gary, Gizzard Gary's in Kansas too. Yeah, Gizzard Gary. I've I've talked to him a couple times. Cool. Well, I'm paying fifty five bucks for for a uh, half box of forty five long gold. Dang. Raw deal, man. Raw deal. You know, and if you want ammo, most of the time you got to wait in the morning before the store opens. You know, whichever where you go. The problem, well, I'm, uh, my problem is I'm my my I don't have Cabela's or uh, Bass Pro around, so uh -huh. my my Cabela's and Bass Pro is this store called Palmetto State Armory, and they've been out for a while as ammunition. 
back back when after Sandy Hook, you know how it was hard to find ammo and stuff. My brother, when he was living in San Antonio, uh, oh, they got you know you live in a big city, so there's more than just one Walmart or one um, type of other store that sells ammo and stuff. You know, so he would do is he would look online to see when they would get their ammo shipments, or he would talk to the people. Hey, when do you get your shipments? You know, oh, we get them on Thursday. You know, we put out everything in by Thursday morning and stuff. So he would be like, okay. And either before work or after work, he would go and visit certain Walmarts and stuff and he would pick up ammo or he would go to certain like academies or, you know, depending where, you, you know, where, um, how far my brother was waiting to drive and stuff, you know, but he would drive around. But then like when she, once he came back, you know, to move to South Texas, you know, moving back to Brownsville, it was kind of like, <laughs> well, we got a couple of Walmarts, but we, you know, we really don't have a lot of targets, you know, we don't have a lot of, you know, uh, we only have one academy, so it's actually Walmart Academy, and that's it. You know, I mean, there's Dick Sports, but you know, the heck with Dick's. You know, our Dick's actually pulled all the guns here a couple weeks yeah. ago. I went in there and walked around just to see if they had any uh, any 12 gauge, and they've yeah. literally pulled everything and then put uh, put barbecues where the gun where the gun counter used to be. Yeah. Yeah, I bought a shotgun from them before Sandy Hook, so it was like, yeah, before that, the whole we're gonna stop selling AR 15s yeah. and all those guns, so, you know, and I was like, the, oh my god, the dicks, the is... dicks in, in Charleston, they they only have you know, uh, bolt action rifles and shotguns yeah. these days because like, I tell you, they're here, here in the next year or so, they're probably gonna start pulling them all because uh, nobody wants to I'm, buy them from them. Yeah, the time before last, I went in there. Uh, I mean, you know, oodles and oodles of, uh, you know, pumps and freaking over-unders. Like, they had their whole wall stocked, but nobody was buying them. It's just, yeah. and pulled them all down, and I don't know where they're sitting anymore. <laughs> yeah, no, no right? one does. No one does, man. That's the problem. No one does. Yeah, but after a while, you know, stuff stores, you know, when they once they find out that they're, losing money because other shops still decide to sell ammunition and rifles and pistols and stuff like that. They'll, 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 they'll start getting back into it. I mean, we, we, our academies, our academy that's here in the, in the lower Rio Grande Valley, they had stopped selling AR 15s when after Sandy hook and, um, well, Sandy hook, they still had them, but they were behind the counter. But when the, the whole drug cartels buying guns from the U S you know, stuff, they had stopped all lower Texas, from from buying guns, so if it was from San Antonio up, you were able to buy an AR-15 from from Academy, and that went on for about a year or so. And later on, the academies in the low, lower Grande Valley were saying, "Well, other gun shops are still selling AR-15s. Bass Pro Shops selling AR-15s. So why can't we go back selling AR-15s? Because we're just losing money." And they started, and they were just going back to it. Yeah, so that was a good thing about that because you know that kind of sucked, you know, and. Oh yeah, you're not. We're not selling ARs yeah. anymore. Like, oh. yeah, my 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 Walmart's not selling ARs anymore, yeah. and they're they're not going to because well, let's be honest, Walmart can't compete with Palmetto State Armory. Oh no, if they if especially they... especially in state. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I saw mean, can, of a guy can anyone can... compete with them anymore? Uh, a couple of companies, Delton. Like, uh, what was it? I ordered a AKP from them, one of their uh, AK pistols, and uh, my gun shop kind of got on to me about that because I do a lot of transfers, and uh, I just bought direct from the website. And I'm like, well, why would I pay your guys 25, 25% upcharge ordering that in for me when I can just pay them directly? Right. Right, and he, he, here's the thing. uh if if I can if I can get around it, I normally just go and buy from if I if I can get transfers, if I have to do transfers, sometimes I just have it sent to the PSA store and then I don't have to pay a transfer fee. Oh. Cool. It, because uh PSA, they don't charge you for transfers if you send, have it sent to the store. See, I don't I don't mind paying transfers at all either. It you know, it helps support the local business that I, mean, I like. I, I don't I don't either, but if I can if I can buy like a you know a ton of PSA uh, lowers off of the website and have it set to oh, the store, definitely. 
I do it. And not have I to pay. fucking hate transfers. They're only ten bucks. I fucking hate them. Yeah. <laughs> but, but, but Norm, you, you're with me. Like, if if you're the one buying them, just you're, for yourself individually, you know, do it, get the best price, even if it's free for transfers. Well, for me, I just, I just I don't know why, but I was kind of bored, so I just drove like a bunch of AR10 lowers and AR15 lowers in myself because I was just like, "Fuck it, I got 50 in stock." Might as well just drove a few of my under my name. So, I mean, yeah, it's cool to do it, but if I'm dealing with like 30 people and I only made 10 bucks each sale, and these people are irritating, and it's like it took up 12 of my hours for that day, I could have made a lot more money. But it's regulated, so it's not like I could say no. When someone's like, hey, I got 10 bucks for you, I have to smile and be like, yay. But then in the back of my head, I'm thinking, well, at least buy a T-shirt or ammo or something else. But no, they just come in, they do the $10 transfer, and I'll never see them. And that's cool. I mean, I understand it. But a lot of shops, they don't do that. Like, they don't they do not do transfers. They hate 10 bucks. So a lot of the people that are looking, they'll all come to me because they know that I'll do it by the book. I don't care. Even if I'm only making 10 bucks, I don't want to get shut down by the ATM. Okay. I mean, when I go into PSA and get stuff, though, when I when I order off of the website and have it sent to their store and have them do the transfer for free, I normally buy a couple magazines or some ammo or something while I'm there. So that that makes up that makes up the tra- the transfer fee right there. Yeah, I agree. You know, so they, 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 years twenty five dollars. They you know they get they get your money one way or the other. So and that's what they figure when you go into their stores. Hey, if you're just picking a uh, in order up, that's fine. But they figure you're going to spend money while you're in there, and they're right. Mm-hmm. Hey, how much are your background checks out there where you guys are at? Uh, the, the, uh, the we just have the I just have the uh, the, the FFL fee, transfer fee. I don't have a background check because uh, I got a concealed carry permit. Ah, uh, okay. I, I am required to fill out the forty four seventy three, but they don't have to run it because in the state of South Carolina, if you have a if a valid concealed carry license, you uh, they don't have to do the background check on you. Yeah, yeah. It was the same. It was the same with me when I did the droves for myself like a few hours ago. I had to just put in like I think it's X ninety nine is. Uh, DOJ certified instructor, so you don't have to do no safety tests. And then, but the right. background check is waived because I have a firearms license, so I just put in my firearms license number. And then, as soon as I hit submit, it says approved already, and I just printed it out and then fin- filled them out. But it was just odd that I'm usually doing the forms for somebody else, and then ten days later and all that. Whereas when I did it for myself, it was kind of weird, like everything's instant now. So I was like, cool. That's a that's a question I've always kind of had at the back of my head is, hey, if you're if you're an employee or own a gun shop and you want to transfer things into your name, can you do it yourself or, uh, yeah, okay, or but do you, you have to have like someone else do it for you? <laughs> no, no, I'm a one man shop. I have no other employees. It's just me. So I just do everything by myself. But um, I was explained to me was don't do it too often. Don't be doing it every week, every month, or whatever. Because you're not supposed to be using your license primarily to expand your, yeah, to expand your personal collection. No, if you do end up getting a few, then it's hmm. because isn't it, there like a, a minimum of guns you're supposed to sell every year or do transfers for with your uh, FFL license? No, basically, um, you could do it, but just don't do too many of them. How, how the ATF explained it to me, the ATF lady, she says, once a year, you could import a firearm. And well, no, I meant a uh, handgun roster or anything like there, that. You bring- are there minimum, is there a minimum number of transfers you have to do for other people per year? No, it's just 10% of the business every day. Oh, okay. So, yeah, so, so, that's the so like, if you're if, if you're getting stuff for yourself, you know, granted, what what what's what's a reasonable number that they give you? Do they give you a reasonable number? What do you mean? I mean, you know, if you if you want to get a couple pieces for yourself, what what do they what what do they say is a, a number don't exceed? Do they even give you a number? Oh no, no, they don't give you a number. They just say do whatever. So I said, okay, cool. But if you're putting them every fucking time, I mean, I've already done, I've already done like fucking 15 already. 
And that was within six months. And ain't nobody said shit to me. And I've already had my ATF inspection. Every year. They don't tell me like, no, 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 nope. She don't care. But if that's because I'm making a lot of money. If I wasn't making any money on sales using my right. license and I was just fucking getting it for myself and that's it, then yeah, you're a dumb you're you're dumb. Like you're gonna get hemmed up. But if you're, you're, you're making trouble. Yeah, if you're both loads of money, you're using your license not for personal gain. You're using it for business. So they can't say nothing. And plus we get that one like um a course. I brought in a course from wherever hell it was, Germany or some shit. And the guy paid me twelve grand for it. And I was like, Wow, dude, the shit was only worth nine. So that was cool because I had to log it in my books for twelve months and then drove it to myself and then the next day drove it to that guy and it was all legal and all legit. And the guy waited like a whole year for that court gun. And was he happy when he got? Oh hell yeah, because there's no way in hell course will put that on the handgun roster. So it was a guy with more coin than common sense, and he was like, "Hey man, I know it sounds stupid, but get it and I'll pay you." And yeah, he was. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, right. I gotta put the kids That's to bed, cool. man. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, later, Norm. All right, man. Take it easy, bro. Defense dad is running off too. Later, you guys have a good night. Night, defense dad. Two later. Yeah, that's right. Is it like, it's, it's, no, Scott. It's, it's, Scott, it wasn't Yankee that bought it because uh, Norm's in California. Well, it would be funny. The ATF is like, sir, sir. We've noticed here that you haven't really been saying selling any guns to other people, but except yourself, you bought fifteen guns. Because yeah, I'm my best old customer. <laughs> <laughs> I would be. <laughs> that would get you in. That would get. That would get you trouble. They'd be like, "Sir, we have to have a conversation. You're supposed to own. Oh, you're supposed to sell guns to other people, not yourself." <laughs> I mean, oh, dealer I costs that over. <laughs> that's something I've never had is dealer costs. Oh. <laughs> um, um, California is a little weird because you know the well, the, the, dro- the this dro- person into buying it, and I talked myself into buying. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't want it, yeah. But, yeah. I, but but my but my mind t- talked myself into it. So and I said, "What the heck? I get paid next week." <laughs> I I told I told him to. Uh, there was only one ordered, but uh, I told him to send me two. <laughs> <laughs> But hey, you know it's just that's how it is. Though they, they have there, there's like a I think California has like an extended background check thing, which what that dross fee he was talking about was. Wow. So, I I really haven't seen uh, police trade in firearms. The prices on those haven't skyrocketed either, though. Yeah. Like I picked up an M and P forty here recently. Two hundred seventy bucks. Wow, that's nice. That then found some uh, some mags on Aim Surplus for thirteen each. Ah, Aim Surplus, pretty nice place. I like Aim Surplus. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Since uh, since we, we we've lost a couple people, I think we're gonna mm-hmm. call it here. I think this is a good, a good, a good ending point, don't you guys? Yeah, I'm gonna get some. We've, hung, we've hung out, we've hung out for a while. We I uh, stayed on longer, so you know everyone could you know hang out and you know chat. But I think I think it's time to call it, and go do something else. I mean, we'll be on again tomorrow, so don't worry about that. So with that, uh, thank you all for listening to the Thursday edition strike, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow night for the Friday night strike. So check that out. Thunder. Thank you all for listening and Thunder. Fuck your ears. Shut up, the infringed. Uh, Shut up, the infringed. Uh, Bye, Felicia. Adios, Felicia. Damn. Adios, Felicia. Damn, Felicia. That, that's Travis's. Oh, yeah. How do I turn this damn thing off?